Chapter 26 Guarding Upside Down Mountain R. The navigator suspected that he heard wrongly. Did the Lord just say to bring the ship closer? I said move the boat over. Do I need to repeat myself? No. No need. My subordinate will ask someone to pull the ship over. The navigator quickly saluted a military salute and ran off. Ever since they witnessed Lynch's unparalleled power that day, every marine on the ship has trusted the colonel from the bottom of their hearts. The warship moved towards the direction of the storm without hesitation, looking at the sea spout that could destroy the ship. The soldiers on the ship swallowed their saliva, hoping that they would not be involved. The dark cumulonimbus clouds seemed to be pressing down on people's hearts, making them breathless. Boom, boom, boom. Scattered fist-sized hailstones hit the deck, and Lynch strode onto the bow. Colonel Lynch, Lord Colonel. The soldiers around him all looked at Lynch in awe. Don't worry, because I'm here. Lynch reassured everyone. The next moment, he transformed into a 30-meter-tall candle and rushed high into the sky without hesitation. Roar, roars like dragons and tigers resounded across the sky. Thunder, fire, frost. Dozens of barrel-thick attribute light beams blasted towards the bad weather ahead. The explosion between thunder and lightning dispersed the dark clouds, the flames evaporated, the rain and hail pierced the clouds like sharp swords, and each water spout was frozen on the sea level. It was like a scene of God creating the world, which was frightening to the people on board. The same thought popped up in my mind, that is, fortunately, this gentleman is one of our own. Boom. Lynch transformed into a human again and landed on the bow of the ship. The dark clouds ahead became calm and the sun was shining brightly. Only water spout ice sculptures like works of art existed on the sea surface, telling everyone that the scene just now was not a dream. Destroy natural disasters with human power. Gudong. The navigator looked at Lynch blankly. Mr. Lynch seemed to be the most powerful navigator. None of the other navigators avoided natural disasters like snakes and scorpions, but he was the best at avoiding natural disasters. How can one describe it as awesome? The true first navigator. Okay, that's great. Long live Colonel Lynch. After a moment of silence, the boat erupted into an overwhelming cheer, and the awful Lynch grew to a new level. After solving the matter at hand, Lynch did not dare to relax for a moment and returned to the room to continue exercising. Suddenly he caught a glimpse of Tom huddled in the corner and huffed and puffed. This stupid cat, he exercised for several days and Tom slept for several days. I really don't know whether this is a cat or a pig. Tom, get up and exercise together. You're also a marine now and you can't be lazy. Meow meow meow. Tom was woken up, his innocent eyes were watery, as if he was saying that I was just an ordinary kitten. Stop pretending, don't be lazy, come and exercise together. Under Lynch's coercion, Tom sighed humanely, and then, did sit-ups. Ha, ha, ha. After a few actions, Tom's patience ran out. He stuck out his tongue and pretended to be tired, and his speed became slower and slower. Tom, if you dare to be lazy, today's dried fish will be gone! Exclamation mark. Tom's body trembled, and he glanced at Lynch with a small, resentful look. He did sit up tightly and quickly turned into a bolt of lightning. Two hours later, the cute kitten that was originally only 90 centimeters tall disappeared, and a muscular cat with a height of 2 meters, 8 packups and a big gold chain appeared. There is even a big gold tooth in the mouth. Lynch had to once again amend the magic of Tom. What a show. Tom stood in front of the mirror with great narcissism, posing. However, half an hour after he stopped exercising, Tom naturally changed back to his original shape, a 90 centimeters kitten. From then on, Lynch no longer forced Tom to exercise. The end of 2006 passed quietly on the ship, and Sea Circle Calendar 1507 came quietly. Twelve days have passed since they set sail. It's a pity that you have only met a few small pirate groups in these twelve days, and only one ability user has been captured. It was only after he became an officer that Lynch realized that capturing a person with abilities and sending him to a deep sea prison would bring him military merit equivalent to destroying a small pirate group. There happened to be ten cells under the cabin. If one cell held ten people, it could also hold one hundred people. Dot. When approaching Upside Down Mountain, the system's beep suddenly sounded. Trigger new life choices. Mission option 1, arrive at East Blue immediately. Reward, 500 points. Mission option 2, kill 1000 pirates from all over the world at the foot of Upside Down Mountain. Reward, 20% off discount coupon in the mall. Task choice 3, block the door, guard the foot of Upside Down Mountain for a month, and defeat all pirates. Reward, 10% off discount coupon in the mall. Choose 3, young men, change the course and go to Upside Down Mountain. Yes. Boss Lynch. After being out for so long, it's time to give Sengoku an explanation. No one has ever tried to block the door and turn the mountain upside down, not even the world government. One is because if you are blocked here, you have to face all the pirates from all over the world. It can be blocked for a while, but it cannot be blocked for a lifetime, which is not proportional to the manpower and material resources spent. The pirates had just entered the new world at this time. If they were left alone, half of them would die in less than three months, 
which would be a thankless task. There is another reason, there is a former crew member of One Piece living under the Upside Down Mountain. Since these old guys have retired, the world government doesn't want to mess with them, otherwise they wouldn't have let Rayleigh stay in Say Buddy Archipelago for so many years. The Roger Pirates, except for Roger's high-end combat power, are almost all still there. It would not be a good idea for these old guys to go crazy. But if they could really block the Upside Down Mountain, it would be a heavy blow to the pirates. Woo. The boat was sailing on the sea, and the lighthouse at the foot of the Upside Down Mountain could be vaguely seen in the distance. Suddenly, a deafening scream came, and everyone covered their ears in pain. It's so noisy. Hina's little face wrinkled. Boom 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 tilde. Loud noises, like thunder drums, resounded in everyone's ears. You geese stay on the boat. I'll go take a look. Lynch stepped on the moonwalk and disappeared into the mist. Laboon? Up close, Lynch saw it was a mountain-sized whale striking the red line, also known as Upside Down Mountain. Blood flowed down the top of his head. Lynch has an impression of this whale that appeared in the original plot. So he said loudly, Laboon, stop, I have something to tell you. Laboon has a very high IQ. Hearing this, he slowly lowered his tall head and roared at Lynch. Woo. Lynch stood in front of Laboon. Not as big as the other person's eyes. Laboon, Brooke asked me to give you a message. His journey is still going on. He will come back to you in up to 20 years, so please don't bang your head against Red Line. Chapter 27 West Blue Overlord. Woo. Hearing Brooke's name again, Laboon became manic, threw up waves, and hit the Red Line with red eyes. Laboon, don't you believe it? Brooke is really alive. Let me describe his appearance to you. Tall and skinny, has an afro, plays the violin well, and his favorite song is Binx's Wine, right? Woo. Laboon stopped hitting the Red Line and stared at Lynch with his big eyes. Stop your self-harming behavior and wait quietly for him to come back. You 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 I don't know how a whale can cry. Laboon cried loudly, rubbed himself against Lynch and finally sank to the bottom of the sea. Young Marine, could you please come and have a drink? From the lighthouse at the bottom of Upside Down Mountain, an uncle who looked to be in his fifties walked out and extended an invitation to Lynch. Of course, Lynch stepped on the moonwalk and landed on the island, and was enthusiastically taken into the house by his uncle. I'm sorry. My humble house is shabby and there's nothing to entertain you. If you don't mind, you can try my home-brewed wine. Crocus brought out a wine jar, poured a glass for Lynch first, and then poured a glass for himself. Lynch took a sip and said, it tastes good. Thank you. Crocus put down the wine glass, thank you, young Marine. Laboon's body can no longer bear the self-inflicted damage it does. You're welcome, it's just a favor. Crocus hesitated for a moment, then asked. Maybe it's because he's older and still has a little luck in everything. Is Brooke really still alive? Lynch nodded, he's still alive, but he turned into a skeleton because of his ability to eat the devil fruit. He's still alive. Skeleton, that's not bad. After receiving the news from Lynch that Brooke was still alive, Crocus kept pouring wine for Lynch. Ha 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 ha, drink more, I owe you a favor for Laboon's sake. No need to pay, come on my boat, uncle. Judging from the surgical instruments on your wall, you should have superb medical skills. This ruthless man was able to extend the life of terminally ill Roger for five or six years. How could he not try to invite him? Ah, Crocus smiled awkwardly. No, I'm too old to withstand the wind and waves at sea. I still have to stay and take care of Laboon. I remember the last man who invited him was Roger. I really miss him. Boss Colonel, are you here? It seems that my subordinates are here, old gentleman. Let's drink another day. Lynch stood up and said goodbye to Crocus. Young Marine, although I don't know your name. I will always have a jar of wine in my cellar for you. Ha ha, that's a good relationship. I think I won't be lonely in the next few days. Lynch strode out, and Rox figured something was wrong. Wait a minute, are you going to stay here for the next few days? In order to protect Lynch, he chased after him and persuaded him. You'd better leave now, otherwise you will be killed by a large number of pirates from all over the world. They will not be afraid because you are a marine. Crocus thought that Lynch was a young man who was inexperienced in the world and he would suffer big losses if he was left alone. He had seen such a hot-blooded and foolish young marine many times, and they all ended badly. Don't worry, old man. I'm the colonel of naval headquarters. They are the ones who died. Hey, seeing that he couldn't persuade him, Crocus decided that he would really step in to save the young marine at that time. Lynch ordered that the soldiers on the ship can take turns to go to the island to relax. After all, they have to stay here for a month. As one of the biggest refresh copies of pirates, Lynch did not disappoint. Less than half an hour later, a pirate ship smashed down the upside down mountain along the waterfall, and the ship almost disintegrated. The pirates were shocked, and before they could celebrate, they heard a man's voice. Where's the sailor? Pull out the cannon and fire it hard. Damn. Why is the marine here? Shameless marine. Bang 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 tilde. The soldiers on the deck loaded the cannonballs, lit the fuses, and more than ten cannonballs were fired, six of which hit the pirate ship. In this way, the shattered pirate ship was instantly buried in the sea and the sea was dyed red with strands of blood. Kill 35 pirates, score plus 26. What, there are points. 
He just wanted to test the power of the cannon sent by Sengoku, but he didn't expect that this test would make him try something incredible. It seems that as long as they are his direct subordinates, he can get points by killing people. This is very comfortable. Wouldn't it be great if he becomes an admiral or a king in the future? Using artillery to bombard pirates is a good move, as it can catch the opponent off guard. So next, the pirate group with less than 50 people was bombarded by long-range cannons, and Lynch with more than 50 people was solved. By the afternoon, Lynch didn't know how many pirate groups he had killed. Crocus moved a small bench and sat on the shore watching with great interest. This was much more interesting than staying here alone every day. Although he had been a pirate before, he was more of an adventurer than a pirate, so he had no sympathy for these pirates. I'm worried about Lynch. If this kid keeps going like this, he'll hit the wall sooner or later. Dot. Yugi stand back, something powerful is coming. At three o'clock in the afternoon, a large shadow fell from the sky, which looked very scary. A large pirate fleet consisting of more than twenty pirate ships flowed down the waterfall. Gee ha ha ha, grand line. My bloody hand Hal is here, boss. This Hal is the largest pirate group in West Blue, known as the Overlord of West Blue. At its peak, there were more than 50 ships and more than 3,000 people. Joseph found a photo from the reward notice and handed it to Lynch. Bloody hands Hal. Bounty 66 million. Huh? Why is there a warship here? Hal was stunned, and then his face became ferocious. A small boat also wants to block me. Boys, rush for me and kill them to sacrifice the flag. Let's use Marine to build my blood hand Hal's reputation in the new world. Kill, kill. Hal gave an order, and thousands of pirates under him controlled the ships and rammed them towards the warship. It can be seen that this group of cruel pirates do not take Marine seriously. Bang 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 tilde. More than 20 pirate ships fired their cannons at the same time. The scene was extremely shocking, and the sea surface was rippled by the explosions. If Lynch hadn't ordered the warship to retreat in advance, it would have been hit at this moment. Crocus stood up from his pony worriedly. Young West Blue Overlord, stop being so arrogant here. I'm here, Colonel Lynch. Don't even think about hurting one of my sailors. Seeing the pirate fleet getting closer and closer, Lynch stepped on the moonwalk and flew into the sky with a loud sound, and drew out the cold dragon slaying sword from his waist. One blade style middle dot ice shard fang. Chapter 28 Exploding Sengoku The majestic cold air was released forward from the dragon slaying sword. As soon as the cannonballs in the air entered the range of the cold fog, they were frozen into lumps of ice and fell straight down. This young marine is quite capable. Rox murmured and sat back. Boss, boss, our cannonballs are useless. The crew members of the pirate fleet looked at the cannons next to them one by one, and suddenly they felt bad. What the hell, are all grand line people like this? Hal, you had never been out of West Blue had never seen such a scene before. He knew and had seen swordsmen who could cut through iron, but he had never heard of someone who could cut a thousand meters of cold energy with one sword. Why panic? If the shells can't reach them, just rush over and chop them to death. Our number is ten times theirs, Hal said angrily. Humphrey, you have no chance. In an instant, Lynch was already in the sky above the pirate fleet. The tiger's body shook, and an overwhelming wave of conquerors was released from his body, and the target was the two thousand pirates at his feet. Boom. Well, as soon as they touched the conquerors, the pirates seemed to have briefly faced the gods, invisible or audible, rolling their eyes and falling down without any resistance. Two thousand pirates were blown down by the wind, and only Captain Hal survived. This is Conqueror's terrifying troop-clearing ability. Rock's pupils in the stands shrank suddenly. Conqueror's is so powerful. What is the origin of this kid? Everyone is dead. Hal was so frightened that he collapsed to the ground. Are all the Grand Line monsters like this? So scary. No movement was seen and the other party didn't even take action. All his 2,000-man fleet were dead. Hal, who was full of confidence one moment to make a career in the new world, lost all confidence in the next moment and couldn't even think of resistance. If God could give him a chance to come back, Hal vowed never to come to the new world. Terrible. A person with abilities? The man's voice brought Hal back to reality. Hal came back to his senses and found the demonic man standing in front of him, trembling and saying, Yes. Yes, very good. Lynch threw Hal into the warship prison like a chicken. Military merit plus one. As for Hal's resistance, are you kidding me? After finally surviving, he didn't want to face that demon again. As for the unconscious pirates, Lynch asked marine soldiers to come over and collect the heads, and also moved the treasure on the ship to the warship. Hina counted it and found that it was quite good to have 20 million bullies worth of treasure. It was evening, and there were almost no pirates left at night, because the mortality rate when crossing the upside down mountain at night was much higher than during the day. Pirates are uneducated, but they are not stupid. At the end of the day, it exhausted every marine on the ship to death, and also brought them considerable growth. Lighthouse on the island. Library rocks. Smoker. Lynch. Keener sit around the campfire. Chef marine on the side prepared pieces of barbecue, cut them and served them to everyone. Rocks side while eating. I never thought I would be able to eat marines cooking in this life. Hina smiled and said, eat more if you like. Smoker glanced at Crocus. He always felt that this uncle was weird 
but he couldn't explain why. If you agree to my invitation, you can eat Marine's food every day, Lynch said. It's better to say goodbye. It makes me panic just thinking about it. He has a few pirate friends, but he has spent his whole life working for Marine and World Government and has never come out again. Refers to being imprisoned in the deep sea prison. Cheers. Several people took a sip of wine. Maybe it was because they had been alone for too long or maybe it was something else. Crocus especially loved talking to Lynch. Young Marine, what is your identity? A Marine like you shouldn't be unknown in the past. I don't have any identity, I'm just an ordinary little Marine. If Lynch has something to say, when it comes to identity, I'm far behind you, senior. Ha 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 ha, I'm just a tower guard, what kind of status can I have? The young man is so funny. Rox laughed, drink, drink. In the blink of an eye, half a month passed. In the past half month, Lynch has only controlled conquerors to destroy enemies and has become more and more familiar with the control of conquerors. After half a month of endless fighting, his 200 already elite soldiers were vaguely evolving towards becoming stronger. On this day, his subordinates came to report that it turned out that the two large warehouses of artillery shells that Sengoku had stuffed before leaving were almost all used up. In addition, the food and fruits on the ship also needed to be replenished, so Lynch decided to let his men use the message phone bug to send a message to Sengoku. Dot. That's right. Ask Marshal Sengoku for artillery shells, fruits and vegetables, and also tell him about our achievements in the past half month. You can tell us the details, Lynch said to the soldier in charge of communications on the ship. At sea, you don't have to eat meat. But you can't eat fruits, otherwise you will get severe scurvy. Yes, Colonel. The signal soldier responded loudly with admiration. After getting along with each other for half a month, the powerful courage shown by Lynch every time he killed the enemy was deeply imprinted in everyone's heart. Every one of the soldiers on the ship admired and admired this officer. Their admiration for Colonel Lynch is like a torrent of water, endless. No, when the colonel called him, he immediately dropped all the work he was doing and rushed over. Dot. Diddy, 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 diddy. Naval headquarters, the phone bug on the marshal's desk printed out a document and landed on the table. Sengoku, who was correcting the document, picked it up. The more he looked at it, his eyes got bigger and bigger, and the corners of his eyes twitched from time to time, as if they were having a seizure. After a while, he shouted out the door, Someone, go get Zephyr, Gub, and Crane Vice Admiral. As a result, several old friends sat together and stared at the report on the table. Zephyr and Sengoku were on the left and right, their eyes twitching wildly. Vice Admiral he was speechless. She had lived a long time, but now she didn't know what to say. Only Gub laughed. I thought this guy was a talent at the beginning. And he is indeed so. I saw the 2,600 word report on the table, which read, Colonel Lynch Camu is a world famous, wise and powerful man. He is like a military god descending and leads our army to guard the upside down mountain. For a moment, all the enemies were frightened. Just because Mr. Lynch was invincible and magnificent, he led us to defeat the pirates. However, all this is thanks to Colonel Lynch's wise command. The entire article is 2,600 words long, almost all of which are praising Lynch. They have seen reports hidden in private goods but they have never seen reports hidden in private goods. The person who could write this article is truly a genius. Even in the context of the entire history of Marine, this article is quite explosive. Chapter 29 Long Yuan Fortunately, this article came from an upright Marine. If it had come from a newspaper, they would have suspected that the newspaper had received money. This article aside, Lynch did a great job guarding the upside down mountain and wiping out all pirates. Even if he can only hold on for half a month. It will be a serious blow to the reputation of pirates. I agree with Zephyr. After pondering for a moment, Sengoku ordered, Someone, please notify Morgans and ask him to help publish a newspaper. This kind of thing that can enhance Marine's reputation and deter pirates who are ready to take action. How can we not spread it widely? Although Marine also has its own newspaper, due to the lack of newsbird transportation, it is unrealistic to deliver it to every corner of the world in the first time. It is precisely because of Morgan's terrifying control over the news that he has been threatened by the world government many times. Dot. At the same time, there was a small island full of ancient trees. Through the ravaged exterior of one of the ancient trees, we could see the busy staff inside. They racked their brains, reading the reports from their subordinates over and over again, and thinking about how to write better news. Ha ha ha. Big news. Big news. Suddenly, a white-haired birdman ran out of the house screaming excitedly as he ran. Boss, what happened today? Are you stimulated? I don't know. I haven't seen him like this for a long time. All the employees looked at Morgan's curiously. Snapped. A piece of information with the title of Marine printed on it was slapped on the forehead of his subordinate by Morgan's. Quick, hurry up and print. We will definitely sell this issue of the newspaper. What kind of news is it that makes you so excited, boss? The subordinate muttered and took the information from the top of his head, and his pupils suddenly shrank. Guard upside down mountain. This behavior may not seem serious but it actually destroyed the roots of the Grand Line Pirate Sect. Without the influx of pirates from all over the world, 
there would only be fewer and fewer pirates in the Grand Line. If things go on like this, you can imagine the scene at that time. It's only for a month or two. If the blockage continues, I'm afraid the four emperors won't be able to sit still. These are their reserve sources of troops. Now three of New World's four emperors have been confirmed, with only the last one still in contention. The pattern of the sea is basically confirmed, and this is a fact that the world government cannot change. Is Marine determined to scare the pirates? The efficiency of the Morgan's newspaper was extremely high. In less than half an hour, fresh newspapers are delivered around the world by hundreds of thousands of newsbirds. East Blue. The young man stood on the beach with a knife in one hand and a newspaper in the other hand, looking at the boat moored on the sea and froze. Um. Everyone, I think being a pirate is still too dangerous. Let's go back to herding cattle. Agree. I agree. I didn't expect that the end of pirates would be upside down mountain. As a result, such a new pirate group that had not yet gone to sea was stillborn. Compared with North Blue, West Blue is no less than a big tsunami. What? Bloody Hal was killed by the Marines not even half a day after he went to the Grand Line. The pirate looked at the newspaper in his hand and trembled. Hal the Bloodhand, the uncrowned king of West Blue, has left his terrifying influence in the bones of every West Blue pirate. Such a terrifying pirate was caught before he even got to warm up in the Grand Line. New World, it turns out to be such a scary place. On this day, countless West Blue pirates vowed never to enter the Grand Line. At the same time, I also deeply remembered the name Lynch. From the beginning of time, Lynch had the first title in his life. The pirate's nemesis, Hobart Lynch. North Blue. The illiterate little Luffy was attracted by Darden who was reading a newspaper next to him. What Lynch didn't know was that it was his appearance that strengthened Garp's determination to train Luffy. Luffy was sent to bandit Darden more than two years in advance. As the only literate person among the bandits, Darden proudly read the contents aloud to the boy next to him. Wow this brother Marine is so awesome, just like my grandpa. Little Luffy looked at the picture in the newspaper of Lynch smashing a pirate ship with a knife. And he was fascinated. New World, Cake Island. Ha 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 The aunt swallowed the basin-sized cake in one gulp, and her eyes suddenly became dangerous. Marine's hands have been stretching out longer and longer lately. It seems they need a profound lesson. Rosan, Garrett, go kill this Marine and bring back some more food. Charlotte Rosan, the thirty-third son of the Charlotte family. Charlotte Garrett, Big Mom's eighteenth daughter. Yes, mother. The two knelt down on one knee and left in awe. Dot. It has been half a month since the newspaper incident. In addition to making Lynch famous, there are fewer and fewer pirates in Upside Down Mountain. This made Lynch complain to Sengoku that the newspaper was distributed too early and asked him to get more points. I saw that his points at this time had reached the terrifying 121,530 points. A total of 120,000 points. You must know that Logia Middle Dot Gas Fruit, which appeared once before, only has 188,888 points. An ordinary flintlock gun can be bought for almost 5,000. If it were replaced with fine wheat bread, it could be replaced by millions, enough to feed a small country. If he receives a 10% discount coupon, he can immediately buy a Logia Devil Fruit. Ding. Congratulations, you have completed guarding Upside Down Mountain for a month. Do you want to claim your prize? Receive. After working hard for a month, he will naturally not show mercy when it's time to spend money. It just so happens that the products that were launched today are pretty good and can be called luxurious. Twice the training scroll, one week. Price, 1000 points. This is different from the previous bodybuilding scroll. The former can only be effective for bodybuilding, while the latter is all round, effective for both bodybuilding and swordsmanship haki. Paramecia middle dot gravity fruit. Price, 155,555 points. Supreme sharp sword middle dot long yuan. Price. 160,000 points. Storage ring, length, width and height are 2 meters each. Price, 3,000 points. Orange times 10. Price, 1 point. Heart crossing the power of the demon sword. Price, 100,000 points. Damn it, I hate having little money when it's time to use it. The store was too luxurious, and Lynch didn't hate anything but his lack of money. Needless to say, he first used a 10% discount coupon to buy the most cost-effective supreme knife. The original price was 160,000, but after using the discount coupon, it only cost 16,000. There was a flash of light, and a completely black knife appeared in Lynch's hand. The blade seemed to have a layer of dragon scales attached to it in the sunlight, and the scales looked distinct. A ferocious black dragon hovered around its handle, seemingly roaring silently. At the very end, there are gems of three colors, one red, one green and one blue. Good knife. Chapter 30 The Birth of the Demon Sword For someone like him who has been using knives for many years, he can feel the energy contained in it just by holding it without doing anything else. He then purchased a storage ring. Although the space is not large, it can be used to store knives in special circumstances. Otherwise, you may encounter the dilemma of being unable to use the weapon in some situations. He clicked on the introduction of Heart Crossing middle dot the power of a demon sword. Heart Crossing, 
The power of a demon sword, it can be attached to any weapon, turning it into a demon sword. It can be advanced by killing people or devouring other demon swords. Nice one. It happened that his other sword, Long Yuan, was only a good and sharp sword and could no longer keep up with the current battle. The gift Mo Mao Sagi gave me was afraid that it would break if I exerted too much force. In other words, many good sharp knives are replicas of the supreme sharp sword. The Long Yuan sent by Sister Yao Tu is one of the replicas of the supreme sharp sword Long Yuan. In order to make it easier to distinguish, Lynch decided to rename the Ryu Yuan given by Sister Mo Mao Sagi to Dragon Slayer or Heart Crossing Demon Sword. By, use and fuse with Dragon Killer. 100,000 points are consumed and used successfully. Huh? Don't they all say that the Demon Sword is very evil? Why didn't you react? After the fusion, Zan Long has no other changes except that the sword body has an extra grimace. D. Host is the creator of Demon Sword, and Demon Sword will not attack the creator. That's it. After some shopping, I only had 2,530 points left. Lynch looked at the shriveled wallet and sighed. You still have to earn points. He bought two more double cultivation scrolls, one week. One for Hina and one for him. At this point, I am completely broke, with only 530 points left. Uncle let's go. I'll see you another day. Walk slowly. Mission accomplished. Lynch is ready to leave Upside Down Mountain. Before leaving, Uncle Laboon and Crocus came out to say goodbye to him. On the way to East Blue, the Marines gathered together and talked quietly. They had been doing nothing but killing for a month, and now that they were suddenly free, they were still a little unaccustomed to it. I always think Colonel Lynch is scarier. Yes especially the two knives on his waist. I wonder if it's my imagination, but I always feel that the knives are alive. Oh no, I thought I was the only one who felt this way. Every time I get close, my legs and feet feel weak, as if I'm being targeted by some wild beast. What are you talking about? Suddenly, a large shadow blocked the sun. Smoker, we're discussing the colonel's knife. Knife. Smoker was suspicious and asked when Lynch changed two knives. He walked straight over and asked, can I see your knife? No, Lynch refused coldly. A swordsman's sword is like his wife, how can anyone touch it? Dot. Smoker said speechlessly, what if your knife is male? Dot. Okay, but you can only touch this one. Lynch was also curious about what would happen if an outsider got the Zan Long. The guinea pig who came to his door would not use it if he didn't use it. After pondering for a moment, Smoker stretched out his hand and grasped the demon sword, dragon slaying. The moment Smoker held the handle of the knife, the ghostly face on the knife lit up purple. This purple light reflected in Smoker's pupils, dyeing his eyes purple. Brush Tilda. Smoker suddenly swung his sword and struck Marine at the side. Enough. Lynch shouted sharply, and the grimace pattern on the dragon slaying sword dimmed. Smoker woke up with a start and threw away the dragon slaying knife in fear. He was frightened for a while. I was dot 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 controlled by this knife just now. Don't throw it away. Lynch felt distressed and picked up the dragon slayer. Actually, this is a demon knife. If you are prepared, you won't be controlled. Demon sword. Smoker was so frightened, don't you know that none of the swordsmen who use the demon sword in history have a good death? It's okay, he's very well behaved. After saying this, Lynch patted Zan Long on his waist. Good. Smoker recalled the scene where he was controlled just now, and looked at Zan Long who was sitting quietly on Lynch's waist, with a complicated expression on his face. He really wanted to say something, look how good your knife is. Lynch, come try my freshly baked waffles. Yeah, Smoker. You're here too. When he noticed he not coming over with a plate of waffles and a glass of orange juice with two straws inserted into it, Smoker knew that this was not for him. He walked away silently. This dog food is enough to eat, and I basically have to eat a few handfuls of it every day. Click, click. Afternoon tea time passed with Hina's company. In the blink of an eye, on the second day, everyone passed over the red line and arrived at the East Blue smoothly. East Blue. The sweet sea breeze was blowing on her face, and Lynch hugged Hina from the back who was standing on the bow of the boat and opened her arms to embrace the sea breeze. Is this your hometown? It is indeed the place where Mahina grew up. Even the sea breeze is much sweeter than other places. Smoker tilted his head to the side. Ugh this is the disgusting stench of love. Ian returned to East Blue after a long absence, with a happy smile on her face. Um dot 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 boss, I'm sorry to disturb you. The fragrance you smell seems to be coming from over there. Joseph pointed carefully in the distance. That apostrophe s dot 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 a restaurant? No, it's the pirate group. On the sea. A pirate group with chef hats on them was fighting fiercely with another pirate group. The various aromas floating on the sea are coming from the kitchen on the ship. Smoker, please, just knock the pirate unconscious. Lynch touched Hina's fleshy belly, not wanting to move. Smoker is enough to defeat these little guys from East Blue. Whispering sound. Smoker held the cigar in his mouth and moved reluctantly, turning into smoke and flying over. In three or two blows, two boats of pirates were knocked unconscious by him. The leaders of the two pirate groups were brought over by Smoker with confused expressions on their faces. It looks like who am I, where am I, 
And why was I captured alive? You two sign up and I'll see how much the reward is. The two captains raised their heads dully, before they could recover from their failure, their bodies suddenly trembled. See dot 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 pirate killer, Hobart Lynch. One of them was so frightened that he took several steps back. The other golden haired pirate sighed. Despite all the odds, I still couldn't escape. If I hadn't been worried about meeting you, I would have been on the Grand Line by now. Idiot, who told you two to talk so much? Answer Boss Lynch's question quickly. Joseph scolded. Burke Knight Pullman. Redfoot Zeppu. Lynch became interested when he heard the two names. Isn't this Zeppu the pirate who later adopted Sanji? It turns out that he was still working as a pirate in East Blue at this time. So he asked his men to drag the other captain off, leaving only Zeppu. I've heard that you are a pirate but you're not too bad and you haven't done anything harmful to the world. Zeppu didn't understand why the pirate nemesis was telling him this. How about you cook me and my brothers a meal? In exchange, I'll let you go. You didn't lie to me? Zeppu's eyes never blinked. These days, is there any marine who takes the initiative to let pirates go? Question mark. One word and nine tripods. Okay, but there are so many of you, and I need the help of my crew to make enough food for you. Certainly. Chapter 31 Pirate Nemesis. Dot. It tastes delicious. This soup is obviously like water, but the taste is very rich. Lynch took a sip of Zeppu's carefully prepared soup and another bite of seafood fried rice. As we all know, Sanji's cooking skills were taught by Zeppu. Rounding. Now he has eaten the food that the seagulls most want to eat. Hina's little mouth was bulging, and her big eyes narrowed into a crescent shape with happiness. Zeppu was very happy to hear someone complimenting the soup he made. Of course, it would be better if the person who praises him is not marine. I like these dishes very much. Could you please tell the chef on the ship how to make them? No problem. After eating and drinking, Lynch started chasing people away. You're not leaving yet. Do you want to stay for dinner? Thanks. Zeppu swore that he had gained a lot of experience today and there really was a marine who didn't catch the pirates and let them go. It's so outrageous that his mother opened the door for outrageous things. It's so outrageous. It can be called a breath of fresh air in the marine world. Did you really let them go? Smoker looked at the pirate ship moving away, as if he had met Lynch for the first time. If not, I thought you were going to kill them. That's too cruel. I'm very kind, okay? You're the only one who's kind? Ha ha. Smoker looked at him with disdain. Send me to Lig Town first. No. He now hasn't been home for several years. Sent him back to see his family first. Smoker. He doesn't want to stay on the ship and eat dog food. By the way, Kokosa Village is not far from Hina's home. Let's go and have a look first. Lynch went to Kokosa Village not for Nami, but for her mother, Baramil. Judging by time, Baramil should have just quit Marine for a year or two at this time. Bellumil was no longer a grassroots soldier before quitting Marine, and had been fighting pirates in East Blue for many years. Therefore, she has a clear understanding of the entire East Blue environment. Precisely because she has become a civilian, Lynch can safely ask her some sensitive questions about the relationship between the East Blue Kingdom. Oh, by the way, you can help me keep an eye on someone in East Blue from now on. Who, Clo? You have something to do with him? Do you know what is the most precious thing in the new era? What? Talent. I'm attracted to him, so remember to keep an eye out for me. Crow is said to have the second highest IQ among pirates. Dot. Another month has passed. Lynch asked the warship to search for the pirates while rushing to the destination. During this period, more than 60 pirate groups were defeated, large and small. There are also a lot of ability users caught one after another, including those caught in the Upside Down Mountain. There are a frighteningly high number of 50 ability users imprisoned on the ship. 50 ability users, this wave of military success has made Lynch a lot of money. Cocosa Village. In this remote town in East Blue, all residents make a living by selling oranges and live a difficult life struggling to make ends meet. When they saw Marine arriving, the residents of the town were not excited. Instead, they looked at him warily like a god of plague. It turns out that Marine rarely comes to this remote town. Nothing good happens every time I see Marine. When he was either catching pirates or chasing down criminals with bounties on his head, he repeatedly caused considerable losses to the village. Marine, what are you doing here again this time? The man with the windmill on his head walked out and Lynch negotiated cautiously. I'm afraid you may have misunderstood uncle. Look, Lynch pointed at his cloak of justice and said, I am a colonel from the naval headquarters. I came to East Blue just to deliver a message. I heard that your oranges were delicious this time. I want to buy them all back and give them to my friends to dry. Not Marine from East Blue? Kent's Yuke's eyes quickly switched between Lynch and the soldiers behind him. The spirit of the soldiers in front of him was different from the Marines he had seen before. Is he really not from East Blue? Kent's Yuke was shocked when he saw that the opponent had three gems embedded in his knife. The other party seems to be a rich man. Some villagers in the village have not opened their doors for several months, especially Bramil and her family who have run out of food. The relief food was only enough for two children, and Bramil could only survive on oranges every day. If they missed this big deal because of themselves, they would probably blame themselves. Are you really here to buy oranges? At this time, Ken Suk had completely believed in the other party. If he really wanted to catch the criminal with a reward, the criminal with the reward would have run away long ago. If not, dot. 
Five minutes later, ha 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 ha, young people are so amazing, at such a young age, he is already a colonel in the naval headquarters. Oh, it's a pity that I don't have a daughter, otherwise I would have married a young and handsome man like you. A group of respected old people in the village stood in front of Lynch with smiles. I want all the oranges in the village, remember it's all. Lynch asked his men to bring a box of gold coins. Also, I want to see the person in charge of every orange tree. Easy to say, easy to say, ah no, it must be no problem. The eyes of several people seem to be shining, staring closely at a box of treasures. After killing so many pirates, Lynch is now a rich man, and this small amount of money can be used to make money. Berimel does not live in the village, but in a hidden corner outside the village. Ken Suk was known to be protective of the Berimel family. In addition, Berimel is a deserter. Putting all three together, it would probably take a lot of effort for me to dare to wear this outfit and say that I wanted to see Berimel. It's still as simple as now. Not long after, Lynch saw Berimel in the orange line. He has pink hair that is easy to spot, and he has a cigarette in his mouth. He looks to be in his mid-twenties. The clothes on my body were wet while moving the oranges, but my face was still filled with a bright smile. Lynch strode over and said, Mom, in order to ensure the quality of the oranges I buy, would I like to visit your orange orchard? So handsome. Bermel stood up and saw the man in front of him, slightly lost in thought. What did you say? I praise you for being a handsome guy. With his body sticky, Bermel simply took off his coat revealing his better figure. She looked in Ken Suk's direction, and Ken Suk nodded to her. Okay, come with me. Don't let too many people come, so as not to scare the children. Okay, I'll go with you alone, and the others will receive the oranges here. Here, as soon as she arrived at the orange grove in Bermel, the smile on her face disappeared instantly. Tell me, what do you want from me? Oh, how could you see that? Lynch realized that he had underestimated this woman's IQ. Women's intuition. Okay. Lynch spread his hands and stopped pretending, soldier Bermel. Before he finished speaking, a long leg suddenly kicked towards him. Bang Tilda. The scene turned and Bermel was pinned to the ground by Lynch with one hand. You should listen to what I have to say, soldier. I have no ill intentions towards you. I just wanted you to not hide anything from me by revealing your identity. Uck let me go first, bastard. Bermel's long legs struggled hard. Chapter 32 Little Nami. In the distance, a small figure was hiding behind the orange tree, looking at the backs of Lynch and Bermel with a blushing face. Little Nami couldn't hear what they were saying but when she saw her adoptive mother being pressed to the ground and being rubbed, she vaguely seemed to understand something. Beramil. Found me a step farther. Hey, Nami, what are you looking at? A small figure suddenly tapped Nami from behind, startling her. Nami quickly grabbed the girl and blocked her mouth. S-H-H. Don't make any noise, Nokigao. Do you remember the little book we read last time? Beramil is doing shameful things with men. What? It's broad daylight. Nokagao's words came to an abrupt end. It was because the actions of the two people were too easy for people to misunderstand. Beramil was lying on the ground with her butt raised, and Lynch was just behind her, pressing her legs with his calves and pinching the back of her neck with his hands. Wow, Beramil is actually so exciting. No, we can't let Nami follow suit and become bad. Nokagao grabbed Nami's arm and dragged her away forcefully. The other side. Madame, you don't want your daughters to have nothing to eat right? Madame, you don't want your daughter to live a life without enough food and clothing, right? Beramil's face turned pale when he heard Lynch's words. What exactly do you want? It's very simple. Follow me into the woods and listen to me. The cute faces of Nami and Nokagao kept flashing in Beramil's mind. She gritted her teeth and said, okay, I'll listen to you. Beramil was taken into the woods by Lynch, and Nami and Nokagao had just jumped out from behind the orange tree. Oh, Beramil, she is really, it's broad daylight now, so she must be too horny. Bah, you're not allowed to say that to Brimel. Maybe he just went to chat. Nami retorted to Nazigao. Despite their young age, thanks to the influence of Brimel, a woman with an unusually open personality, Nami and Nuokigao are already experienced drivers. TCH, your family has to go deep into the woods to chat. You are just discussing state secrets. Nokagao was worried about her adoptive mother suddenly looking for a man. What if the other person is a bad person? Half an hour, one hour, Brimel and Lynch still hadn't come out for two full hours and Nazigao couldn't help but worry. It's been two hours. Can Bermel's body bear it? Nami went crazy. Why is your little head full of thoughts? At this time, Lynch's figure finally appeared again. He thought about the information he got from Bermel. Thanks to Bermel's eight trigrams personality, he knows more information than he imagined. The easiest place for him to become king is actually at West Blue. West Blue, the most chaotic sea area in the world, has few experts. To describe it in one sentence, it is, a rookie and fun-loving a group of rookies pecking each other. This has led to the fact that most of the kingdoms in West Blue are in dire straits. Both the king and the people are living a very difficult life. Many kings who only care about pleasure are even willing to sell their thrones for money. But there are quite a few such kings in West Blue. He could have become king through formal channels. Well, 
It looks like becoming king is easier than I thought. He straightened his clothes and walked out of the woods. The fight with Beramil just now caused the Cloak of Justice to become crooked. Beramil was even more embarrassed. The previous attack had caused the dirt on her clothes to be covered with dirt. Now it had dried and it was very uncomfortable to stick to her body. She couldn't take it off, and if she did, she would have nothing to wear. You two little guys, after watching the excitement for so long, come out. Lynch, who has a good sense of knowledge, immediately spotted the two little guys. Awesome, how did you discover us? Nami and Nuoki jumped out generously. You are Nami and Nogi, you are so cute. Lynch smiled and touched their foreheads. What should we call you? Nami blinked her watery eyes and smelled. Call daddy. What a father. The two little ones were in great shock. Dad. Just as Nami was hesitating whether to shout out, a fist was waving and struck from the side. Asshole. Don't teach bad things to children. Bamil angrily said. Don't listen to his nonsense. Call me brother. Ha ha. Don't be so scary. It's just a joke. Lynch knelt down and rubbed Nami's little face. Little Nami is so cute. Brother gives you a gift. A valuable ruby brooch was pinned to Nami's chest. Wow, so beautiful. Little Nami's eyes seemed to be shining. She hugged Lynch and kissed her on the cheek. Thank you, brother. In fact, I don't have any objection if you want to date Bramil. Idiot. Veins popped up on Bramil's forehead. This girl was bribed with a ruby brooch. Nokagao looked at Nami with envy. By the way, you two also have a share. Two rings and a large number of gold coins were handed to Bramil and Nazagao by Lynch. Exchanging the gold coins for Bailey should be enough for you to eat for a few years. Buy more food and clothing for the children, and let's see how they can lose weight. Lynch noticed that the life of mother and daughter was not good. Their clothes were all patched one after another and they were very thin. Thinking about it, Nami became greedy for money when she grew up. Probably because she was afraid of being poor when she was a child. It's not that he doesn't want to give too much. He still understands the reason why it's a crime to have a jade. There is no airtight wall in the world. Thank you, brother. After receiving the gift, Nuochi's sweet voice sounded. Thank you, you're welcome. The money was of great help to Brahman, who felt guilty for not being able to give Nami and Nokagawa a good living environment. Suddenly, he felt that the man in front of him was not so hateful. Okay, let's meet again when we are destined, little Nami. Lint rubbed Nami's little face fiercely. I have to say, Nami was so cute when she was little. Almost turned into a human trafficker. Before leaving, he suddenly remembered something. By the way, if you meet a fish man named Arlong in the future, tell him named E that you should give him a message. If you don't want to die, be honest. Oh well. Beramil wondered what nonsense this man was talking about, but he still wrote it down. Lynch is quite mysterious in her eyes. When leaving. The warship left with a boat full of oranges. Have you finished eating all the oranges you bought? Smoker took a bite of a sugar orange. It's okay. If you have money, eat one and throw two away. Smoker, can we still communicate happily together? The mission of coming to East Blue has basically been completed. Next, he only needs to meet two more people and send Tina home, and then he can go back. The gift cup gave to Luffy. Just ask Smoker to find one of his subordinates to deliver it to him. Chapter 33 Card 2 arrives. The whole army is on alert. Something powerful is coming. Not long after driving out of Kokosa village, Lynch sensed two powerful auras approaching quickly. Ha 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 ha, I found you. A rather handsome man who killed Matt, holding a flaming sword, looked down at Lynch and others. Brother, don't talk nonsense with them. Kill us quickly while we still have to find desserts for our mother. Another aloof woman with pink hair, a ball of butter floating in the air under her feet, urging impatiently with a red wine glass in her hand. Well, sister, we have been drifting on the sea for a month and a half. Of course. We have to kill them bit by bit. Boss, they are Ryazan and Garrett, one of the carders of the Big Mom Pirates, the subordinate reported. Every elite marine must remember the information about the four Emperor's pirates. Charlotte Lin Lin's people? They came here specifically for us to hear their conversation. Why can't I remember where I provoked them? Lynch frowned. But no matter what, since the other party has come to the doorstep, there is no reason to let him go. Smoker, I can sense that there is a pirate ship behind them. Once the fight breaks out, the pirate ship will be yours and the two officers will be mine. Okay, Smoker pulled out ten hands. Me and me, Hina also wants to join the war. Hina volunteered. You stay and protect the soldiers on the ship. There is no doubt that the two people in the sky have reached the general level, and the soldiers on the ship will die if they touch them. Okay, do what you want. Garrett, who loves her family, couldn't refuse her brother's request. With his sister's permission, Ryazan joked and swung a flying slash at the warship. Fire Dragon Emperor. Zanza transformed into a giant dragon and roared towards the warship. Do it. Lynch shouted and took the lead to greet him. Smoker quietly looked and left as planned. Lynch ignored the alleged attack because he trusted Hina. Senate Liu Wangxian. Sure enough, as Hina danced with her hands, countless chains appeared from the void, tightly locked the dragon's body, and swallowed it. So fast, Lynch arrived in front of Risen in the blink of an eye and without even giving it time to react, he punched out. Boom. The next moment, Ilzan turned into a meteor and crashed into the depths of the sea. PFFT. A large mouthful of blood spurted out, Ilzan's pupils trembled violently for a few times, 
and he simply rolled his eyes and fainted. That's not right, I can't possibly be blind. Is the rear admiral level so weak? Lynch suddenly realized that he was no longer the same person he was when he first went to sea. At that time, it was still unclear whether he could deal with Vice Admiral. Now, he reckons he has passed the Admiral threshold. The difference in strength is huge, no wonder he can kill his enemy instantly with one punch. Brother, Garrett shouted worriedly, spilling the red wine in her hand on the floor. She ignored maintaining an elegant image and assumed a fighting posture. The man in front of me was so powerful that he actually defeated Lezen with one punch! Exclamation mark. Today, they are afraid that they will be kicked on the iron plate. Mom, you're out of business. Lynch was blinded by the pair of white rabbits in front of him, so he kindly reminded her. Who would have expected that the person thanking him would be a bunch of butter? Butter throwing gun. Dozens of javelins formed by cooling butter were thrown by the woman. Paramecia butter fruit. Lynch faced the butter javelin, grabbed the woman's neck, and sneered. Are you tickling me? You dot 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 monster. Garrett was choked and ye and couldn't breathe. She was trembling when she saw that there was not even a white spot left on Lynch's body where the javelin hit her. Do you think I should kill you now, or keep you in exchange for military honors? Lynch pressed his hands a little harder, seeming to be hesitating. Partilda. The next moment, the woman's head flew up. Headless corpses fall. Ahem dot 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 it hurts. You are such a man who doesn't know how to care about women. The head in the branch house suddenly turned into butter squirmed and flew to the body and turned into a human form. Garrett's charming face turned purple and she kept coughing. Paramecia similar to Logia? Lynch, who was already preparing to help Smoker, turned around again with strong interest. Butter heat wave. A large amount of steaming butter was poured over by the woman, and then the woman herself turned into a ball of butter and wrapped around Lynch's body. Oh, I just complimented you a few times. What the hell are you talking about? The elementalization of Logia is brought with clothes. The woman in front of me, who looks like whom easy? can't even put on any clothes after turning into butter. Lynch watched as the other man's few clothes fell into the sea. Then he looked at the woman who was coiled around his waist like a beautiful snake and was trying to strangle her. For a moment, he couldn't tell whether she wanted to kill someone or seduce her. Have you had enough fun? With a snap, Lynch slapped a hand on the woman's perky buttocks, releasing boundless cold air. Ah, cack Tilda. Under the terrifying cold air, the woman was frozen into an ice sculpture and fell into the sea. If a person with abilities falls into the sea, it is tantamount to death. Deep under the sea, Ulzan, who had choked on several mouthfuls of seawater, suddenly woke up, split the sea surface with a knife and jumped out. Ahem, cough, cough, I was so wise that I almost choked to death. Ulzan rubbed his aching chest in disbelief. He was knocked unconscious by a punch just now. Damn it, this is Kaido, elder sister. Before he had time to rest, he hurriedly caught Garrett who fell. Looking at his sister who was frozen into ice, Ulzan's eyes were about to burst. I'm going to kill you. Ulzan shouted to the sky, carefully placed his sister on a rock, drew his sword and killed her. It seems you still don't have a long memory. Dot. Thirty seconds later, Rizan and Garrett were lying neatly in a row and were thrown onto the warship by Lynch. He also thoughtfully turned the ice that frozen Garrett into opaque so that she would not be exposed. In this way, two people with rear admiral level combat capabilities were caught without even breaking through Lynch's defense. Awesome. Hina clapped with her mouth open. The soldiers on the ship looked at the two people lying on the board of the ship and started talking. Did you see that man was able to cut through the sea with one sword, but was easily defeated by Colonel Lynch? Colonel Lynch is mighty. Colonel Lynch, do you want to put them in jail? Wait a minute, why hasn't Smoker come back yet? Lynch frowned. Smoker and Logia wouldn't be so slow to fight a group of minions. Could something have happened? The ominous omen was soon fulfilled. A tall man with a red spiky head and a towel wrapped around his mouth flew over carrying Smoker with a bruised nose and swollen face. This man still uses Moonwalk from Marine Six Styles. Chapter 34 Hina's Hometown Charlotte Category Lynch slowly uttered four words and stared at the other party solemnly. If the later category was a man who stood at the top of the Imperial Vice President, the current category is not that sophisticated. On later pirate forums, many people boasted that category was more powerful than Admiral. Lynch isn't sure about that. But judging from the aura exuding from his body, category, now 37 years old, may have passed the Admiral threshold. After all, with the green bull of Admiral shame here, he is close to the peak. Lynch looked at category, and category looked at Lynch. The young man in front of him looks like he is no more than 20 years old but there seems to be a demon hidden in his body. The powerful insight was constantly reminding Kerr that that man was by no means an ordinary person. After much thought, Kerr gave up the idea of taking action forcefully. Let go of my brothers and sisters. In exchange, this man can be returned to you. Category mentioned the unconscious Smoker. Can. Lynch agreed. Smoker can't die yet. If Category puts a little force on his hands, Smoker's head will explode. Kaji narrowed his eyes. Marine was surprisingly easy to talk to. You wake them up first, and after they leave, 
I will keep my promise and let them go, can, with a wave of his hand, Lin Chen freezes the person and thoughtfully puts on a nice coat for him so that he will not be exposed, Garrett and Risen woke up with splitting headaches and saw Category in a daze, it's Category in a great brother, please avenge us and kill them, Zan shouted, shut up, Category scolded the two stupid family members, get out of here quickly and don't talk too much, Garrett touched her hot buttocks and glared angrily at Lynch, her red lips hesitating to speak, in the end, it was her brother's majesty that kept her from making mistakes. She limped, holding on to the sore buttocks spanked by Lynch, and left with Rosin. When the two walked away, Category kept his promise and left Smoker behind to chase after his younger siblings. Smoker, Smoker, are you okay? A group of military doctors rushed forward, rescuing and strangling him, and finally managed to wake up Smoker. Smoker opened his eyes and looked at everyone calmly. Did I lose? He couldn't remember much about the battle scene. He just remembered that he had just wiped out a boat of pirates when something white and similar to a rice cake hit him from all directions. I'm sorry for holding you back. Smoker touched his hands behind his back and left silently. The soldiers around were really surprised. Oh my god, that guy Smoker actually apologized. It seems that he was hit hard this time. Do you need to comfort him? Forget it. I'm afraid it won't be more uncomfortable if you comfort him. Due to Smoker's mental state, Lynch sent him to Lugtown first. Speaking of which, Smoker was miserable enough, he was demoted and beaten. Before leaving, Lynch handed the letter written by Garp to Luffy to Smoker and asked him to find someone to send it to him. Don't worry, I won't forget your request. Smoker stood on the dock and said goodbye to Lynch. When the boat was far away, he shouted abruptly, Just wait and see, I will definitely surpass you next time we meet. Okay, I'll wait. Lynch laughed and left. Dot. After half a month of sailing at sea, the warship arrived at Hina's hometown, Kingdom of Marost. This is a small to medium-sized country that is mediocre in every aspect. The monarch is neither wise nor stupid, and the people's life is neither difficult nor easy. However, Hina's family is one of the three most powerful families in the Kingdom of Marost. Madara can be seen from the fact that her father was able to get devil fruit in a small place like East Balu. Hina's grandfather was appointed as the country's defense captain commanding all land armies, let the soldiers change into civilian clothes and play as they please, Lynch took Hina and Tomcat for a stroll on the busy street, after returning to her hometown after a long absence, Hina was particularly happy today, she held Chu Feng's hand and walked and ate together, like a couple in love, dot, you, are you a lady, suddenly an uncertain voice sounded from behind, Hina turned around and said, Uncle Sam, Hina held Lynch's hand and walked over in surprise, let me introduce to you, this is Uncle Sam, the butler who watched me grow up. This is Lynch, my dot 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 boyfriend. Speaking of her boyfriend, Hina took a cautious glance at Lynch, hoping that he wouldn't mind calling him that. Hello, I'm glad to meet Hina's family. Lynch smiled and shook hands with the butler. Hello. The butler's face was a little stiff. Didn't the lady go to become a marine? Why did she get a boyfriend back? I hope my husband won't have a heart attack when he sees his precious daughter being effed by a pig. By the way, are my father and grandfather okay? Hino asked. I'm afraid this is not good. The butler said melancholy. I'd better take you back first. I will be very happy to see you back. Yeah, let's go home. Hina put Lynch's arm in her arms and followed the housekeeper. Dot. Family residence. Hina's father sat in the main seat, with the butler standing behind him. Lynch and Hina sat next to each other on the left and right. After Hina and her father finished talking and laughing, there was deathly silence in the room. A pair of eyes stared straight at Lynch. Lynch unconsciously sat upright. Who can tell him why he feels so oppressive about meeting his father-in-law? He was afraid that the other party would give an order and countless swordsmen would rush out. Father, I heard from Uncle Sam that something happened in the family recently. Can I help? Hina spoke up to help Lynch. Back to the topic, Gaeli sighed and said, To be honest, a group of bandits under the banner of the Revolutionary Army have recently appeared in the kingdom. Every night in the middle of the night, they would come out to rob in an organized manner. But they would not leave any traces, and they would disappear during the day. It's been half a month since the king gave our family the task of getting rid of the powerful one but we still have no clue. If we still can't find it, the king's trust in us will be greatly reduced. For this reason, your grandfather's scanty hair has fallen out. Leave it to me, father. I'll catch them and return them if you can. Hina jumped up. Leave it to you? No, no, our man is not dead yet. Guy shook his sharp head like a rattle, wondering how he could put his precious daughter in danger. In his heart, Hina will always be a little girl. Not only Hina, but also me. Lynch also stood up. Don't worry, uncle. I will help Hina solve the problem. You? Guy looked Lynch up and down. The young man is very handsome, but he doesn't seem to be very good at fighting. Chapter 35 Dragon. Hee hee, father, don't look at his thin skin and tender flesh. In fact, this guy is a marine colonel. Hina said sweetly. Colonel Marine? So young? Guy Ali looked at Lynch suspiciously. He had never heard of such a young colonel in Marine. He wondered if his daughter had been deceived. Seeing this, Lynch had no choice but to show his hand. Uncle is embarrassed. Gun pointed. 
he suddenly inserted his fingers on a solid stone pillar beside him. When I closed my fingers, a ten centimeters deep pit was drilled into the solid granite. Hiska Ali took a breath, grabbed Lynch's hand and looked at it again and again. Young man, is your hand okay? He has never seen a ruthless person who pokes a stone with his hand. Can that hand be harder than a stone? When he saw that Lynch's fingers were intact, Gaeli took another breath of air and said, Awesome, I believe you are Colonel Marine. His attitude suddenly changed 180 degrees, and he excitedly held Lynch's hand. Then the matter about the robbers will be left to your excellency. Our family will be very grateful afterwards. Thank you very much, uncle. I'm just looking out for Hina's sake. The smile on Gaeli's face froze, and his eyes moved back and forth between the two of them. These two people dot 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 shouldn't really be having an affair, right? His baby girl was effed by a pig! Exclamation mark. Hina's face turned red at the sight, and she stabbed Gaeli hard. I hate it, why are you looking at Hina like this? Dot. That night, Lynch stood at the highest point in the country, looking out in all directions. The candlelight fruit improved his vision to the point where it was comparable to that of a sniper without a scope. Coupled with his pretty good knowledge, as long as the thieves dare to come out tonight, he will definitely be able to catch them all coming. At the second watch in the middle of the night, these rats couldn't help but sneak into a mansion. At the moment of action, he was discovered by Lynch. Iron body middle dot steel fist. The three meter tall strong man, including weapons and people, was beaten to pieces by Lynch. Miss, are you not scared? At the critical moment, Lynch rescued the rich man's daughter from the thieves. Thank you, thank you. The girl was obviously frightened and at a loss. It was the servants at home who took her away. You, who are you? If you dare to go against our revolutionary army, you don't want to live anymore. Everyone was shocked when they saw that their accomplice was punched and no powder was left. But he still plucked up the courage, hoping to scare away the opponent with the name of the revolutionary army. Revolutionary army? Lynch sneered, if Long knew what you were doing. I'm afraid he would come over and kill you personally. You're right. Click tilde. A bolt of lightning flashed across the sky. At some point, a man shrouded in a cloak appeared in the corner of the room. He pulled back his cloak, revealing a face covered in slipper prints. The most vicious criminal in history. Monkey D. Dragon. Dragon? Lynch was surprised to see the man. You know me? Long looked at Lynch in confusion. I know your father, old man. Long raised his hand and touched his aching cheek. At this moment, the robbers were frightened when they saw the dragon coming. I thought they were swindling under the banner of the Revolutionary Army all day long, but I never thought that one day the real owner would come to their door. Long turned around and a hurricane appeared in his hand. You have damaged the reputation of the Revolutionary Army, so use your lives to repay it. Sorry, we were wrong. We no longer dare to be evil people in the name of the Revolutionary Army. Some people knelt down and begged for mercy, while others ran away. What a joke. Who dares to attack the legendary dragon? The few people who escaped were instantly torn into pieces by the hurricane in Long's hand. A hurricane appeared in the dragon's hand again, and Lynch suddenly said, For the remaining people, remember to keep the body intact. It's best to leave one alive. I can be useful. Why should I listen to you? Long's stern face contained no emotion. I'm not negotiating with you, dragon. Lynch's right hand turned into a dragon's claw, and flames ignited on it. Phantom beast species. Long was silent for two seconds. Okay, I promise you. Five seconds later. More than thirty bandits were killed, and only one person fainted. The dragon head didn't even look back, and turned into a breeze and left. They say you are cold-blooded, but after seeing you today, I believe you. The cold-bloodedness of dragons is terrifying. Such people will only consider the gains and losses when doing things, and will never be swayed by emotions. No wonder Luffy is eighteen years old and doesn't know he has a father. He probably thinks he jumped out of the rock. Lynch picked up the unconscious robber and returned to the family headquarters. As for the corpses on the ground, they would probably be hung on the tower tomorrow so he didn't need to worry about them. Family residents. Gaeli looked at the robbers brought by Lynch and laughed. My dear son-in-law, Hina told me about the matter between you two, and I wholeheartedly agree with it. Guy was so happy that he even called the good son-in-law. Lynch's mouth twitched. This old man dot 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 has his face changed so quickly. I don't know who it was that looked like someone who wanted to stab someone during the day. Fortunately, I did not disgrace my life. Gaeli looked at the robbers on the ground and was so happy. The robbery incident that had troubled him for many days was finally over. It's getting late. My dear son-in-law, you've worked hard. Go down and rest. Okay uncle. Under the guidance of the housekeeper, Lynch returned to his guest room. He took off his clothes and shoes, opened the quilt and lay down inside. His eyes widened immediately. Warm jade in my arms. Hina rubbed her sleepy eyes drowsily. Lynch, you're back. Hina, why are you here? Lynch lowered his voice. If he were to be discovered. His father-in-law would chop him alive. He he, Hina is afraid that you will sleep alone. Hina hugged Lynch. In Hina's house, of course Hina has to act like a landlord. Don't make trouble. Lynch's heart pounded as he felt the softness on his hands. Tell me, is the wall in your house soundproofed? What are you thinking about, bad guy? Hina punched Lynch's chest with her small fist in a coquettish tone. You are only allowed to sleep with Hina in your arms, 
and you are not allowed to think of bad things, is it okay to touch it? Lynch tried to get benefits for himself. Okay then. Hina hesitated symbolically, then decisively agreed. She had long wanted to sleep with Lynch. In Hina's heart, she will always be Lynch's person sooner or later, and it doesn't matter if she is touched. But Lynch soon regretted his actions. With such a great beauty by your side, you can only touch her with your hands. My blood pressure jumped to 180 and remained high. My brother raised a sign to protest. The boss's eyes were wide open and he just couldn't sleep. It wasn't until 3 o'clock in the morning that he fell asleep with Hina in his arms. The good thing is that he felt so good touching Hina's delicate body, and her little face turned red when she was touched. Chapter 36 Hina Continue Hina stayed in her hometown for a few days. A few days later, my father-in-law, who had been promoted to an official position, was like a spring breeze. He called me a good son-in-law and went to the port to see everyone off in person. Xian's son-in-law, come over and play with Hina when you have time. After a few days of getting along with each other, Gaeli discovered that this young man must have both strength and potential. The most important thing is that he is kind to his daughter and is simply the best candidate to be his son-in-law. I understand, uncle, please go back. Dot. Next, the trip to East Blue. There is one last goal left. It is also the most important destination. Half a month later. Dot. Is this Seymour Shiki village? Lynch looked at the ordinary little village, and it didn't look like he was hiding an expert. Yes, boss. The map shows this is here. Joseph affirmed. Let's go to Ishin Dojo. Lynch wore casual clothes held two long knives across his waist, and walked towards the Yishin Dojo with Hina and Joseph. Bang 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 tilde. Before the door was opened, you could hear the banging sound of bamboo swords being swung from inside. Here, a solid foundation was laid for Zora's path to swordsmanship. Zikwa tilde. Pushing open the wooden door, the sound of the wooden swords clashing suddenly stopped. All the young men, the youngest no more than six or seven years old and the oldest no more than ten years old, all looked over, curiously looking at this outsider from the village. It seems like they are from outside. There are no such people in the nearby villages. Wow, the clothes they wear are so nice. TCH, little brat, then the big sister is pretty. Okay, a group of children were chattering away, and a little girl walked out of them. He came to Lynch and bent down to salute. Hello, I am Qina, the daughter of the owner of this sword dojo. Who are you looking for? Please tell me, I'm looking for your father. Lynch wanted to touch the girl's head, but the girl dodged him. He had always liked this girl who refused to admit defeat. But it was a pity that fate had a twist on her. Okay. Please wait a moment. Jeff, serve tea to the guests. Qina is like a little grown-up, not forgetting to greet the guests when making announcements. Thank you. Lynch took the tea from the boy and drank it. Click, click. The sound of wooden shoes on the floor sounded, and a smiling man with narrowed eyes appeared on the scene. He first dismissed everyone, and then warned Lynch. Your Excellency is very powerful. Why are you here? To be honest, I would like to ask you to learn swordsmanship from your husband. Real swordsmanship, Lynch said seriously. They say anyone with squinting eyes is a monster. Koshiro is like that. Despite his harmless appearance, he is actually a vice admiral, the lowest elite, and even a swordsman who has reached the threshold of admiral. Why do you dare to say that? Just because his name is Shimatsuki Koshiro. The Shimatsuki family, in Wanokuni. Today's Wanokuni is ruled by Kaido and is close to the country. It is as difficult to get out as to go to the sky. But it was such a man who could carry the infant Kuino alone across the New World and Grand Line to the East Blue. Such strength is terrifying. And Shimatsuki Koshiro's father and grandfather are not ordinary people, so how can he be ordinary? His father, Shimatsuki Kozaburo, created the famous swords of Doi Shimanji and the Great Sword Inma. His grandfather even built a supremely sharp sword. Neither Garp nor Zephyr knows how to use a sword. If he wants to achieve rapid success in swordsmanship, he must be taught by a famous teacher. Otherwise, how can he compare with those who have been practicing swordsmanship for decades since childhood? Koshiro laughed dryly and said, You are just kidding. I am just an ordinary kendo master from East Blue. How can I teach you? He came all the way to East Blue precisely because he was tired of the strife. Teaching this man would be tantamount to exposing his strength, and he would not do that. Sir. You don't want the Shimatsuki family's swordsmanship to be buried, right? Koshiro paused while pouring tea, but he didn't expect that the other party had already investigated his identity. Lynch's words struck a chord in Koshiro's heart. He is the kind of extremely old-fashioned person who always believes that girls cannot inherit the family swordsmanship and that girls are always inferior to men. Otherwise, the subsequent tragedy would not have happened. Ha ha, what Shimatsuki, why can't I understand? Sir, why should you deceive yourself? As he spoke, Lynch pulled out Dragon Slayer acting like a gangster. Qina, who was hiding behind a pillar and eavesdropping, looked panicked. Is her father about to start a fight? Seeing that Koshiro remained unmoved, Lynch swung his sword energy. I thought Koshiro would reveal his strength and block it. Who would have thought that he would watch helplessly as the house he had lived in for many years was split in half by a sword energy more than 10 meters long? Little Qina was excited. This. Is this also what Kendo can do? Koshiro sighed, 
simply closed his eyes and stopped talking. Hey, hey, are you really a master? Why don't I believe it? Joseph couldn't bear it anymore. If you really want to be a master, it would be too tolerable. More tolerable than the old turtle. I said, I am just an ordinary person. If you want to learn swordsmanship, you have found the wrong person. As a last resort, Lynch had no choice but to use his ultimate move to pull out Kuina who was eavesdropping from behind the pillar. I tell you, your name should be Shimatsuki Kuina, the so-called Shimatsuki family. Koshiro's eyelids twitched wildly. That's enough, I'll teach. Are you willing to teach? Lynch cooperated and stopped talking. Little Kuina looked like she had eaten shit. I have to finish what I'm talking about. Hey, it's very exciting to finish talking. I can see that you are not a villain. I hope you will not insult Shimatsuki swordsmanship. Now that he has decided to teach, Koshiro is no longer hiding it. Come to class tomorrow. Thank you, I will have the house repaired for you. The goal was achieved, and Lynch left happily. Kuina was left looking thoughtful. Father, what is the Shimatsuki family? Don't ask any more questions. I will tell you when the time comes. Go practice your sword. From the next day, Lynch and Hina started learning swordsmanship from Koshiro. From this day onwards, there was a little follower around Lynch. Kuina always asks him about the Shimatsuki family. Lynch promised Koshiro not to talk anymore which made Kuina feel like a cat's claw. Hey, Shimatsuki can't talk, so you can say something else. Tell me, are there any female great swordsmen in this world? Where are you from? Are there many masters there? Bad guy, why don't you accept my challenge? It hurts. Don't hit me on the head all the time. I'll make you stupid. The days passed by Kuina's words. In the blink of an eye, time has come half a year later. Girls grow up very fast. Compared with half a year ago, Kuina is half a head taller. This day, Lynch and Koshiro were sitting on the tatami drinking tea. You are very talented and I have nothing more to teach you. Koshiro poured Lynch a cup of tea. Thank you for taking care of me over the past six months. Lynch thanked me. Chapter 37 Return and Lily Development. Actually, Kuina is a good young girl, better than most men. Lynch suddenly said, I know this, but unfortunately, women cannot become great swordsmen. The chatter in the room fell silent. You can ask Kuina to come to Marine to find me in the future, and I will help her fulfill her dream. This depends on her own wishes. The room fell silent again. The conversation between the two was not pleasant. Koshiro has always stubbornly believed that women cannot go far in the swordsmanship. Even if this person is his daughter. Father. Do you need more tea? Hearing Kuina's voice. The two of them made a tacit agreement not to discuss this issue again. It's Kuina. Come in. Kuina. So cute in her kimono. Kneels at the table to refill the teapot. Kuina. I'm leaving today. Lynch said. Ah. Kuina's hand shook and she almost dropped the kettle. He looked aggrieved and about to cry. It's so fast. Can't we stay a few more days? Silly girl, you've been here for half a year and it's so fast. Don't you want to let me go? Who? Who can't let you go, idiot? Kuina's face flushed. I'm just worried that no one will chat with me in the future. Ha ha. Kuina is so strong, I guess so. By the way, I haven't given you any gifts. I have a gift for you before I leave. He took out a devil fruit and placed it on the table. This is the zone peacock fruit, a type of devil fruit. If you eat it, you can gain incredible power. Kuina. Haven't you always wanted to surpass boys? You can do it by eating it. This devil fruit was purchased when the system store was refreshed. This ordinary zone is very cheap. He didn't believe that Kuina could fall to death after eating zone devil fruit. Father, is what Brother Lynch said true? Kuina looked at Koshiro expectantly. How she wished she could hear the words from her father that she could surpass men. However, all that waited was Koshiro's silence. Koshiro only hopes that his daughter can live a peaceful life, and maybe eating devil fruit is also a good choice. Thinking this, Koshiro nodded. This greatly encouraged Kuina, so she picked up the devil fruit and bit into most of it. Thank you, Brother Lynch. Ugh it tastes so bad. Kuina almost spit it out, but she thought of surpassing the boys and getting her father's approval, so she swallowed the fruit hard. Unpalatable tears came out. Okay, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Thank you for your teachings over the past six months. Little Kuina, I look forward to the day when we meet at sea. After seeing Kuina eat the fruit in person, Lynch stopped staying back on the ship. He immediately had ten boxes of treasure delivered to Koshiro. Would it be more sincere if you sent it yourself? Hina was puzzled. He won't take it if I send it off. Moments before the warship set sail, Kuina ran over panting, stood on the dock and shouted. Brother Lynch I'll see you off. Lynch smiled. Kuina, I believe you can become a female great swordsman. When Kuina heard this, she burst into tears for some reason. Thank you. As promised, I will definitely become a great swordsman to show you. Good. Watching the warship sail away. Kuina wiped away tears from the corners of her eyes, raised the corners of her mouth, and walked straight to the training ground. Dot. See Circle Calendar 1508. Lynch led his troops back to the Grand Line and called Zengoku. Yes, I'm back and I met the dragon in East Blue. Send the prisoners to the Deep Sea Prison first, okay. Lynch hangs up the phone bug. In more than a year at sea, 
There were hundreds of ability users imprisoned in the cabin. These ability users would not be safe if it were any other person escorting Sengoku, except Lynch. The deep sea prison forms a triangle with the marine headquarters and NI's lobby. World government has a dedicated channel between the three. No one can pass except official members. Through the gate of justice, Lynch and his team arrived at the deep sea prison. Magellan, who was still the deputy warden, came out to greet him. Hello, Colonel Lynch, on behalf of the deep sea prison, I welcome you. Magellan wore thick gloves and shook Lynch's hand. Hello, my name is Warden Magellan whom I have admired for a long time. Lynch and Magellan exchanged pleasantries, and his men escorted the prisoner to the deep sea prison. Magellan looked at the prisoners who were all wearing sea stone handcuffs, and asked strangely, aren't all of those you arrested people with abilities? Yes, so many? There must be hundreds of people. Magellan was shocked. It would be good if one could catch one or two ability users at a time when going out to sea. As a result, Lynch captured hundreds of ability users at every turn. You really think that people with abilities are like cabbage? Lynch who knows is Rear Admiral. Those who didn't know better thought he was a marshal. I've been out at sea for a long time, and I accidentally caught these. Listening to Lynch's Versailles speech, Magellan's mouth twitched. He caught so many ability users casually, no matter what. He was quite powerful. With so many military exploits, I have been envious of him for ten years. Sir, all the prisoners have been escorted, the soldier reported. Okay, in that case. Brother Magellan, see you later. Goodbye. Magellan watched everyone leave. Dot. A few more days passed. Lynch returns to naval headquarters. I haven't been back for more than a year, and the moment I set foot on land, I still felt a little nostalgic. System, view properties, host, Lynch, combat abilities, moonwalk, peak, shave, advanced, tempest kick, advanced, gunpoint, peak, iron body, advanced, life return, advanced, paper arts, beginner. Note, all skills with extreme limits are expressed in terms of proficiency. Life skills, sailing, intermediate, cooking, elementary, lily cultivation, intermediate. Basic attributes, physique, level 5, physical king, swordsmanship, level 5, great swordsman, fruit development, level 3, strong fruit, spear skill, level 3, experienced sniper, knowledge and color, level 3, armed color, level 4, conquerors, level 5, conquerors king. Note, there is no limit, what can be continuously improved will be represented by basic attributes. This is what Lynch gained after a year at sea. Both his physique and swordsmanship have reached level 5, which is a qualitative leap. Not to mention everything else has been improved. Only, what the hell is this Lolita doing? Lynch protested. What kind of skills was marked by this system for him? Why did he develop it like a lie? Didn't he help the Empress, Goala, Nami, Nokugao, and Kyuina? Dot. Okay, this Lolita has grown up. He admits it. Chapter 38 Battle Against Kizaru Welcome back Lynch Rear Admiral. On both sides of the pier, there were marine soldiers in bright clothes standing. When they saw Lynch's warship docking, they all shouted energetically. What's the situation? Lynch was stunned. He, a colonel, had a higher welcome posture than an admiral. He jumped off the warship, and just as he was about to ask what was going on, Garp came from the side laughing. Ha ha ha, boy Lynch, I heard that you met a dragon in East Blue. He didn't make things difficult for you, right? So that's what happened. No. Senior Long is easy to talk to. That's good, that's good. Let's go. That old guy Sengoku is still waiting for you. Marshal's office. Garp Sengoku and Zephyr gathered in a circle and listened to Lynch talk about his experience at sea for more than a year. Ahem dot 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 ahem. As he listened, Sengoku's pupils gradually dilated, and he suddenly choked on the senpai in his mouth and coughed. Garp squinted over, as if to say, when will you become as mature as me? You said you accidentally ate the phantom beast species when eating fruit. Sengoku was shocked. That was a species of phantom beast. He was the only one who owned the entire marine, so he understood how valuable it was. He almost died for the big Buddha fruit, but luckily for this kid, he picked one up for free. This luck makes Sengoku envious. Lynch, don't worry about Sengoku, keep talking. Zephyr urged, he was enjoying listening to it. After that, I got a supremely sharp knife by chance. And then, wait. Lynch was stopped again by Sengoku. He accidentally pulled off a handful of his beard and said in shock, You said you got a supremely sharp knife in that little place in East Blue. Sengoku's whole body was numb. The ultimate sharp sword. The huge marine doesn't even have one. This kid is lucky, he got one casually. Still in that little shitty place in East Blue. Um, do you have a problem, Marshal? The problem is big, okay. Sengoku pretended to be mature and steady on the surface. No problem, just keep talking. Okay. Then I found an admiral level swordsman in East Blue. I tried to get him into marine, but unfortunately I failed. But it's not without gain. He gave me his swordsmanship. So where is your strength now? Zephyr looked at Lynch seriously. His disciple's strength has improved too quickly. In just over a year of going to sea, he first obtained the phantom beast seed fruit, then the supreme sharp sword, and the personal guidance of a great swordsman. 
they didn't suspect that these things had any evil origins, because no one would be willing to give these treasures on the seat to others. Lynch scratched his head and said modestly and uncertainly, I haven't tested the limit, but I guess I can compete with Admiral, right? His physique and swordsmanship are both at level 5. Although fruit development and Haki are not as thorough as those developed by these older generations, it should not be a problem to fight against Admiral. Even Admiral, a parallel import like Green Bull, still has the possibility of victory. When the three heard this, they gasped at the same time. If what Lynch said is true, Admiral, who is only 20 years old, is too scary. How about I arrange a contest between you and Kizaru? Sengoku suggested. Lynch knew that he wanted to test his strength, so he readily agreed, okay. Half an hour later, in the training ground number 7, Kizaru yawned while slowly trimming his nails with nail clippers. Ah, you called me out from my nap just to fight with this brat? Kizaru said helplessly. Kizaru, don't be careless, or you may suffer a loss. Sengoku kindly reminded. Kizaru still didn't care. He is 44 years old and is more serious than a young man in his early 20s. He might as well kill him with a piece of tofu. If it weren't for the fear of losing his year-end bonus, he wouldn't want to come. Sengoku is also serious, asking him to play with the children. Hey, I'm going to move. In order to finish typing and get off work early, Kizaru took the lead in taking action. He turned into a stream of light, appeared in front of Lynch in an instant, and kicked him in the air. Bang. It really blocked it. Sengoku looked at the court in surprise and saw Lynch not moving blocking Kizaru's kick with just one arm. Even though Kizaru didn't take it seriously, it was still shocking enough. Oh? Kizaru looked at Lynch with interest, and the force on his legs gradually increased. Lynch never moved. Kizaru Senpai, as a logier, please don't compete with me. Lynch grinned, used both arms to push Kizaru away. Kizaru landed firmly and put away his laziness. He also saw that the young man in front of him was extraordinary. No wonder Sengoku called him out. Young Marine, I have to be serious next time, don't get hurt. As he spoke, and a Mankunian sword shining with golden light appeared in Kizaru's hand. Coming, Lynch pulled out Dragon Slayer, the blade of the sword burned with flames, and fought Kizaru head on. The more Kizaru fought, the more frightened he became. This young man's swordsmanship was actually not weaker than his. In terms of swordsmanship, Kizaru was unable to defeat Lynch for a long time. Zephyr nodded appreciatively, although Kizaru is not a professional swordsman, he is stronger than ordinary swordsmen due to his speed advantage. Lynch's swordsmanship has improved so much in just one year. It seems that what he said is true. Lynch's every move is full of everyone's style, and it is obvious that he has been passed down by famous masters. What they don't know is how much Lynch has suffered for his current swordsmanship. The training scroll for triple swordsmanship was not mentioned for half a year once it was hung up. He wakes up earlier than a donkey and goes to bed later than a dog. Get up before dawn and practice until midnight. Unable to defeat Lynch with swordsmanship. Kizaru decisively changed his moves. He knew that he was called here to test Lynch, and there was no need to continue since the swordsmanship was deadlocked. I'm going to use my fruit power. If you can't hold on, give up as soon as possible. Don't hold on. As a kind reminder, Kizaru turned into a stream of light and flew into the air, opening his hands. Eight foot beautiful Magadama. Hundreds of light bombs rained down overwhelmingly, causing a devastating blow. Boom. The ground was pockmarked and dusty. Zephyr looked worriedly in the direction of the smoke. Don't worry. That kid hasn't even used the fruit yet. Garp comforted. Roar. A roar sounded, and then a terrifying figure rushed out of the smoke. It was a monster seven meters tall. His hands and important parts of his body were covered with dragon scales, and there were two sections of winding antlers on his forehead. Many sharp barbs protruded from the joints and other places, and a black circle of burning flames hung behind him. By the way, what kind of phantom beast is that kid? Looking at Lynch's appearance, the three Sengakus fell into deep thought. The characteristics of general phantom beast species are very obvious, and it goes without saying what kind of fruit it is. Chapter 39 promoted to Rear Admiral, for example, the phoenix fruit or the Buddha fruit. But, Lynch, a phantom beast, can't see it at all. It looks a bit like Kaido's blue dragon fruit, Thunder Fist. Lynch flew into the air, his fists filled with lightning, and punched Kizaru away. Unfortunately, Dragon Slayer is too short. Once you become a giant, it is no longer suitable to be used as a weapon so you have to use your bare hands. It feels wrong. Is it elementalized in advance? Yo what a scary monster. Kizaru landed on the ground and transformed into a human form, raised his finger, and fired several laser beams at Lynch. Boom tilde. The laser hit Lynch and exploded. However, Lynch was unscathed. The epidermis broken by the laser heals itself in an instant. Lynch landed hard like a Tyrannosaurus, and the ground shook like an earthquake. He hit Kizaru with a straight punch, but Kizaru dodged it by elementalizing again. Also Elodia. Lynch hit Smoker every time and hit Kizaru accurately, but always missed, just because Kizaru's knowledge was too high. That's why I don't like fighting against phantom beasts. I'm really resistant to being beaten. Kizaru murmured, opening his arms in midair, and dozens of laser arrows chased Lynch as if they had eyes. Fire punch. Lynch punched out, 
and a pillar of fire rising dozens of meters into the sky intercepted the arrow attack. So, dogs don't eat marimara fruit. He manipulated the electromagnetic force to suck up a piece of meteorite from the depths of the earth, held it on his fingertips and charged it with electricity. Super electromagnetic gun, boom. The rich electric light pushed the meteorite across the sky, hitting Kizaru's head with one blow, and then exploded in the sky. Like a nuclear explosion, a mushroom cloud rose for a moment. The entire marine base's attention was attracted. Kizaru's severed head turned into yellow particles and grew back. He turned to look at the explosion behind him, and a drop of cold sweat flowed down his temples. Hey, 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 it's true. It's too exaggerated. We agreed to spar. Do you really want my life? I'm sorry, Kizaru Senpai. I can't hurt you unless I go all out. You kid. Forget it. Maybe I should treat you as a peer. Kizaru's words are tantamount to acknowledging Lynch's strength. But it would be embarrassing if he couldn't defeat his juniors. If Okiji Akainu finds out, he will definitely laugh for half a month. It seems I have to show my trump card. Kizaru Senpai, stop being so modest. You don't even have any weapon colors, huh? How did you get here? Lynch discovered the difference. One moment, Kizaru was exchanging business blows with him from a distance, and the next moment, he appeared in front of him without any warning. Kizaru was fast before, but this time he teleported directly. Sengoku silently took off his glasses and cursed with a smile. Kizaru. This guy actually used the light refracted by my lenses to teleport. Eternal frozen purgatory. Lynch naturally would not miss the opportunity to get close to Kizaru, and opened his mouth to spit out a blast of cold air. The cold spread rapidly, the air turned into frost, and the ground was frozen. The effect of this move is no less than Okiji's frozen fruit. Gamma rays. Rich black light condensed on Kizaru's fingertips. Unlike the previous yellow light, Lynch felt the smell of death from above. Enough. Galactic shock. At the critical moment. Garp suddenly interrupted the two attacks with an iron fist. It hurts. Mr. Garp, your fists are still as strong as ever. Garp's sudden punch knocked the two of them away at the same time. Even Kizaru's elemental form couldn't do it. He didn't know how he did it. It hurt like hell. When the two got up, one of them had a big bag on his head and was grinning in pain. Kizaru Senpai, I lost. Lynch said humbly. If it hadn't been for a Garp's blow, he wouldn't be sure what would have happened if Kizaru's blow hadn't happened. On the contrary, his move made Kizaru embarrassed at most. The young man is formidable. He is so young but already has admiral-like strength. It's amazing. Kizaru rubbed his sore waist and cast a resentful look at Sengoku. Marshall, please go find Ake Ainu next time something good like this happens again. Thank you. I'm sorry to trouble you this time, Kizaru. Sengoku apologized. The battle between the two was witnessed by everyone. It is undeniable that Lynch really has the strength of admiral. The most shocking one among them belongs to Zephyr. He personally witnessed the other party's growth. In just over two years, he went from being a nobody to having strength comparable to that of Admiral. So scary. Okay, Marshal, I'm leaving first. Remember to send your overtime pay to my home. Kizaru waved his hands, returned to his lazy look, and turned into golden light and left. Colonel Lynch, in view of your meritorious service, on behalf of Naval Headquarters, I officially confer you with the rank of Rear Admiral. You will get the corresponding items from the munitions department later, Sengoku said in an official tone. Yes, Marshal. Lynch, congratulations on your promotion. Zephyr sent his blessing. From Colonel to Commodore to Rear Admiral, upgrade two levels in a row. Thank you, Teacher Zephyr. You kid, you rose from an ordinary Marine to a Marine Rear Admiral in two years. I'm so envious of you at such a speed. I can only think of you as a Vice Admiral. Mr. Garp. Please stop joking. Everyone knows that you are unwilling to be promoted to Admiral. Ha ha ha. Is there any? Okay, we old guys don't bother Lynch. He has been at sea for more than a year, so he should have a good rest. I'll give you half a month off and have a good rest. Sengoku said kindly. Dot. Once free, Lynch immediately ran to find Momausagi. Unfortunately, the nanny of Momausagi's family said that sister Momausagi has not returned from going to sea. He had no choice but to go to the commercial street behind to fill his stomach. This crazy girl Kina has been missing since she came back. She probably went to catch up with her little sisters. After eating and drinking, thinking that he would not bring any gifts for Momausagi-san when he came back this time, he started to pick out gifts in the shopping street. Remember Momausagi likes cats? Buy him a cat? No, no, Momausagi said that since meeting Tom. Other cats are too stupid. Momausagi is not the kind of woman who loves vanity. She doesn't like what ordinary women like. While he was thinking hard, he suddenly remembered that Momausagi san liked to have many perfumes and hairpins at home. But he doesn't understand perfume. So Lynch focused on hairpins. I walked past one store after another, and there were many good looking ones, but nothing particularly stunning. Just when Lynch was about to give up, a shouting sound came from not far away. Come and take a look. Come and take a look. This special hairpin from Alabaster is made entirely of white jade with 18 unique alabaster gemstones inlaid on it. Today's big discount, you don't need 100 million baileys, you don't need 9,000 baileys, you only need 9.99 million baileys. Yes, you heard it right, 
Come and buy it. Chapter 40 Peacock. I want it. I bought it. Two voices sounded in unison at the same time and Lynch's hand collided with another catkin. Lynch looked up and saw a girl with blonde hair. Before he could say anything, the girl smiled sweetly and said, Now, brother, you will definitely not snatch this thing from me. The girl looked to be no more than 15 years old, and she didn't have a military uniform on her body, so she could be guessed to be Marine's family member. But, Lynch noticed Harky's fluctuations in the girl. However, people in this world mature prematurely. They may appear to be 15 years old, but in fact no one knows the details. Having Haki as a teenager is an out-and-out little genius. Yeah, brother. Do you want to grab something from the little girl? Seeing that Lynch remained silent, the girl repeated it again. Dot 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 of course. After saying this, Lynch had no choice but to give the thing to the girl. Thank you brother. Goodbye brother. After getting the hairpin, the girl quickly handed over the money and left happily shaking her long hair. Ding. Draga life choices. Mission choice 1. Black hand. Secretly snatched away the hairpin and made the girl cry. Reward. A lesson from Grain Vice Admiral. Task option 2, take away the black silk from the peacock's legs and treasure it. Reward, world transfer scroll. Task option 3, take peacock to watch brother G's performance in the small room. Reward, title, Lily killer, plus 5 damage to little Lily. M, the system is really getting more and more perverted. Lynch can no longer complain about his system. But the code name peacock sounds very familiar. Lynch thought about it, isn't this the granddaughter of Vice Admiral Crane? The world transfer scroll of option 2 is divided into two parts, A and B. Holding the scroll can shuttle between the two points at will. This kind of good stuff that can be called a portal has come out, and it's probably impossible to buy it without 50,000 points in the system store. And even for such a good thing, the only condition for obtaining it is to get girls' stockings. However, I am a gentleman. System, do you think I would do such a crazy thing for the sake of the portal? Lynch was dismissive. Dot. Five minutes later, Lynch stopped Peacock in a remote alley. Hey, little brother. You're blocking my way. Because Lynch used his life to return himself in advance and became unrecognizable to him, the girl did not recognize him. That's it. Lynch took out two bags of unopened black silk and explained, I am a staff member of a black silk manufacturer. We are currently conducting a market research activity. As long as you take off the black stockings on your legs to me, you can get two new stockings. What do you want with my stockings? The peacock was puzzled and tilted his little head, looking innocent. We're going to use the stockings you wore for testing so we can improve our products. The girl was silent for a moment, then suddenly scolded, pervert, big pervert. You don't want to use my stockings to clean your gun, do you? That's disgusting. Peacock looked at Lynch with disdain. Wipe dot 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 wipe the gun. God is so stupid. Lynch never expected these words to come from the mouth of a little girl. Get out of the way pervert. I'm going home. Peacock pushed Lynch away and trotted out of the alley. Shave. Lynch teleported over and knocked the girl unconscious with a knife. Sorry, since you don't want to take it off yourself, I have no choice but to offend you. Lynch took off the black silk stockings and took them off inch by inch from the girl's luscious legs. A faint fragrance came from the stockings. Lynch looked serious and threw the girl's original stockings into the storage ring. He's not really pervert, so how could he smell it? For important news, you have to go to a place where no one is around. One for two. You're not at a loss. Putting the prepared stockings in the girl's hand, Lynch lit a cigarette and held it between Peacock's fingers. When the cigarette burns out, she will be woken up by the burn. Perfect. Lynch confirmed that no clues were left at the scene and left quietly. The system collects rewards. Ding. Congratulations to host for completing the mission. The world transfer scroll is being distributed. There was a flash of light, and a scroll split into two appeared in Lynch's hand. As long as you hold one half, you can teleport to the other half. Then, Lynch worked non-stop to find the pirate hunter who came to Marine headquarters to collect the bounty. Spend five million baileys and get them to send stuff to West Blue. Safe and harmless escort missions like this are warmly welcomed by bounty hunters. After two trips back and forth, it was already night. He dragged his tired body back to the door and saw it was dark inside. Tom, that stupid cat, doesn't know how to turn on the light at home. The moment he opened the door, the room suddenly lit up. Just two bangs were heard and the ribbons floated down from the sky. Surprise! Congratulations on your promotion to Rear Admiral. A large group of people came out of the corner. There are Marines he took with him during his one-year voyage. Students from the same period, Kina and Momausagi. Colonel Lynch. Ah no, I should call him Lynch Rear Admiral from now on. Sir Rear Admiral, you are the first person in our elite camp to reach Rear Admiral. Congratulations. Thank you everyone. Lynch felt warm in his heart. Momausagi stepped forward with lotus steps. Momausagi-san, you are back. Um. Momausagi nodded. Suddenly hugged Lynch's head, lowered his head and kissed him, question mark. Lynch's eyes widened, Hina opened her mouth wide. The onlookers were so frightened that they dropped the beers in their hands and looked away. Tom seemed not to be surprised, lit a cigar on the side, and slowly exhaled a mouthful of mist of words. Hundred years of love, brother Lynch.
Welcome home, Mo Mousagi said happily. Lynch looked at himself in the mirror with his mouth full of lipstick marks. This surprise is so sudden. Dot. A night of partying. Early the next morning, Lynch rubbed his aching head and climbed up from the sofa. He was shocked by the scene in the room. Is this the arrival of a hundred huskies? Everyone was gone. The living room was full of wine bottles, and messy things were everywhere. Tom hung like a noodle from the light bulb. With a bang, the wine bottle in Tom's hand fell to the ground and broke into pieces. Tom. Tom woke up instantly, ran up to Lynch and saluted with a military salute. Good morning master. Blessings from your most loyal soldiers. A magnetic and hoarse voice came from Tom's mouth. Oh, you can talk. Lynch was really shocked this time. Tom also noticed something was wrong and quickly covered his mouth and shook his head. Stop pretending. I didn't drink too much. What's going on? Tom carefully observed Lynch's expression, took out a pen and paper from his tail, and wrote, Aren't you surprised? Chapter 41 Talking Tom. What's strange? There are many animals in this world that can talk, such as deer, crabs, etc. Tom breathed a sigh of relief and wrote again in the notebook, that's good. By the way, it turns out that once you can speak, you should stop using notebooks to communicate. It would be better to just speak directly. Tom shook his head and wrote, I can talk, but it hurts. Tom doesn't like to talk. Okay, then don't say it. Then I will give you a task, clean the room, and reward you with a box of dried fish. Tom was shocked and instantly transformed into six hands. Two were sweeping the floor, two were mopping the floor, and two hands were holding two rags cleaning quickly. This scene, which could only be seen in anime, appears in reality. Lynch carefully opened the door to Mo Mousagi's room. Compared to the living room, this place is much cleaner, not much different from usual. Mo Mousagi's and sleeping posture is so enchanting. Lynch stared at Mo Mousagi's raised buttocks and big white legs. He carefully closed the door and looked at Inu again, making sure that there was no problem with the two of them before walking out of the door. Marine Canteen, Mom, here are three breakfasts to take away, Lynch said. Okay young man. Wait a moment. While Lynch was standing waiting for his meal, suddenly a small hand patted Lynch on the shoulder. Looking back, it's a peacock. Excuse me, is something wrong? I just finished beating someone's sap yesterday and took off my black stockings. At this time, Lynch was a little panicked when he saw the peacock. It won't be discovered, right? Impossible. Yesterday, he used his life to change his appearance and voice. Peacock said nothing, just stared at Lynch. It's over. I used too much force yesterday and beat my girl unconscious. Lynch felt guilty. After a long silence. Peacock slowly said, I think we should talk. What can we talk about? Let's talk about it here. Lynch secretly thought that something was wrong. He might have been discovered. Are you sure? Peacock's cute big eyes blinked. According to the laws of our military, attacking Marines family members will result in a prison sentence of not less than one year but not more than ten years. Brother, do you want to go to jail? You did that to others yesterday. Enough. Lynch covered the chattering Peacock and broke into a cold sweat. He was now sure that this girl had really discovered the truth. Uck big brother. Why are you being rude to others? Although you did that to others, they won't let you take responsibility. Peacock broke away from Lynch's hand and whispered. Pairs of upright and serious eyes around him looked over. The cafeteria lady silently put down the rice spoon. Dry. Lynch couldn't stand the looks from the people around him, nor could he stand the girl's harsh remarks, so he dragged her out of the cafeteria. After the two left, there were whispers in the cafeteria. That little beauty just now is the granddaughter of Crane Vice Admiral, right? That man seems to be Lynch Rear Admiral who has been in the limelight recently. Hiss this melon is so exciting. What I'm more looking forward to is whether Vice Admiral Crane knows about it. Lynch dragged the peacock to the corner of the woods and said with a headache, How did you find me? He he, big brother's return of life is of no use to me. The peacock stood on tiptoes, leaned forward, pointed at his nose and said proudly, According to research, my sense of smell is fifteen times that of humans. I remember your smell. Dog nose? You have a dog's nose. Peacock said in a charming voice. Tell me your purpose. The person who came to see her today was a peacock, not a crane. Vice Admiral proved that she had not complained yet. In this case, she must have greater requirements. But her attempt to threaten Lynch was simply overthinking. Lynch will let this little girl know what regret is. Ah, brother, have you guessed it yet? The smile on the peacock's face suddenly changed from sweet to sickly and two hearts popped out of his eyes. It's very simple. Only my eldest brother is willing to play with me. Devil Fruit Paramisha Whip Fruit Power User. Lynch. How could he have forgotten that this peacock and Sadie Chan from Impel Down are a pair of sickly tremors? You're not trying to hit me with your Devil Fruit ability, are you? Lynch's eyes twitched. Yes, you won't refuse, right? The love in the peacock's eyes turned pink. Well, Lynch reached out and held down peacock's little head. Little sister, you have to understand that I just took your stockings and gave you two pairs back. Even if you go outside and yell, you won't be punished. Okay, I'll go tell Grandma he right away. Peacock put away the weapon he had transformed into with the wit devil fruit, turned around and left, etc. Lynch grabbed the peacock, and it would be a big deal if Vice Admiral found out about it. Crane is angry, and he will probably be beaten severely by Sengoku plus Gar plus Zephyr. 
He didn't want to be hung up on the clothes pole by cranes washing fruits for several days. Snapped. Peacock was caught, suddenly came to his senses, and whipped Lynch on the arm with the ability to whip the fruit. The strength was so great that his clothes instantly shattered, but Lynch's body didn't even turn red. Brother, your body is so strong. Is this just shaking s? It was the first time I saw s shaking, and Lynch really couldn't handle it. If she hadn't been the granddaughter of Crane Vice Admiral, she would have been pushed to the ground and beaten violently. Just when Lynch was thinking about what to do, Peacock used Devil Fruit's ability again. Lynch grabbed the Peacock with one hand and did not let go, which resulted in another attack. The pain was not painful at all, but it was more like being stared at by a mosquito. But his clothes were completely ruined. What a strong body. The Peacock looked at Lynch lovingly, and for some reason, she thought she had fallen in love with him. Looking at her like that, Lynch was afraid that she would faint from excitement. How could Vice Admiral have such a wonderful granddaughter? The attack came again, this time Lynch caught him. You bullied me, I'm going to tell Grandma he. Peacock's chest rose and fell violently, looking at Lynch with dissatisfaction. Lynch sneered twice, now we each have an advantage over the other. If you dare to snitch, I will tell he Vice Admiral what happened today. I don't believe he Vice Admiral let you do this. Peacock's expression froze. Please, big brother. Seeing that force was not enough, Peacock immediately changed his strategy and began to plead charmingly. No. Go back quickly. I don't have time to play these boring tricks with you. Chapter 42 A Commission from Crane Vice Admiral Oh well, Peacock pretended to give up, but in fact he had evil intentions. When Lynch turned around, he whipped him, snapped. Lynch held the whip with his backhand, pulled the Peacock over with force, and sneered, You asked for this. You, what are you going to do? For some reason, Peacock, whose hands were bound, was a little panicked. It seems like something bad is about to happen. What are you doing? Hum, of course I'll teach you a lesson. Don't think you can do whatever you want. Lynch pinned Peacock to the ground and slapped him on the butt. Ah! It hurts. The Peacock screamed in pain and kicked its long legs wildly. Humphrey, it hurts. Why don't you think about whether it hurts when you hit someone? Lynch smiled evilly and slapped his pretty little buttocks a dozen times. The spanking made the butt completely swollen. Ouch it hurts so much. Stop it, pervert. Help, come help. There are bad guys here who are killing the underage flowers of our motherland. The peacock cried, tears were shed, and it turned into a little painted face. Say, apologize, and swear to never hit anyone else again, and I'll let you go, Lynch said. I don't. Even if you beat me to death, I won't give in to you, a big bad guy. Peacock said stubbornly while crying. True. Be upright and upright. It was obviously painful, but he was so stubborn. Okay, this is what you said. Bang 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 tilde. Bang 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 tilde. Lynch became even more ruthless. For a moment. Strange sounds echoed throughout the grove. Half an hour later. Woo I was wrong. I apologize. Please don't hit me again. I'm fighting dot 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 I'm going to break it if I'm fighting. Peacock's eyes were red and swollen, and he clutched his little butt that was about to be beaten to pieces, begging for mercy. Are you begging for mercy now? Weren't you so awesome just now? After saying something, Lynch pulled away Peacock's palm and slapped it again. The already overwhelmed buttocks instantly felt heartbreaking pain. Ah. It hurts. I've already apologized. What else do you want from me? Bad guy. Peacock was about to despair. If she had known she would end up like this, she would not have provoked this man. Who is this person? Not only is he not afraid of her grandma, he also has no pity for her at all. If you say you're going to kill someone, then you're going to kill someone. She could hardly feel her butt anymore. Say, you will never use a whip to hit others for fun again. I don't. You'd better beat me to death. When it comes to hobbies, Peacock becomes tough talking again. Good. Lynch laughed in anger. Today he had to change his bad habit of Peacock shaking. Bang 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 tilde. Bang 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 tilde. Another half hour passed like this. Peacock rolled his eyes. Drooled and fainted. Lynch's whole body felt bad. What kind of person was he? He would rather be knocked unconscious than give up his hobby in a perfunctory way. It really is the depth of love, right? Beat him to death. He couldn't change Peacock's habit of trembling. It's better to let Crane Vice Admiral have the headache. Now how to do? He definitely couldn't move the Peacock in this state, and he couldn't send it back in person. Otherwise Garp would have to beat him to death. Boom. Lynch stepped on the ground hard, making a loud noise, and left quickly. Not long after leaving. A pair of marines followed the sound and rushed over. Quick, there's an unconscious girl there. This seems to be the granddaughter of Crane Vice Admiral. Go and inform Crane Vice Admiral. Lynch, who was hiding far away, felt relieved and went home with breakfast. Dot. In a white and drab ward, Peacock was lying on the hospital bed with his butt up, covered with bandages, and wanted to cry without tears. It's quite normal for a Peacock to withdraw from the excitement of trembling. There was nothing she could do. Her butt hurt so much every time she touched something. So she had no choice but to lie like this. What made her even more desperate was the death stare from her grandmother. Grandpa Garp was still baring his big teeth. If it weren't for Grandpa Sengoku holding him down, he would probably be laughing out loud. The peacock has never been so social and wants to find a crack in the ground to crawl in. Honestly, 
How did you become like this? Crane Vice Admiral said sternly. I told you grandma, she fell by herself. In Peacock's mind, Lynch's threat was still there. If she dared to sue him, he would also sue him and tell her about her beating. Because your butt fell like this, do you think your grandma is an old fool? He Yin's face was gloomy. No one could be happy when his granddaughter looked like this. I heard someone say that what happened between you and Lynch in the cafeteria, could it be related to Lynch? No. It has nothing to do with him. Peacock quickly denied. Crane Vice Admiral narrowed his eyes and stopped asking. As Marine's general staff officer, she already got the answer from her granddaughter's tone. Let's see how long it will take for Hina to arrive and let him use devil fruit to quickly heal the peacock. Gub, help get Lynch. Grandma Peacock said coquettishly, it has nothing to do with me. Why did you ask me to do it? Normally, the peacock's coquettishness is fine, but now the Crane Vice Admiral is very angry. Gub didn't dare to mess with him. So he went to call someone. After an hour, with the help of devil fruit, the peacock limped to its feet. Except for the awkward walking posture, everything looked normal. The swelling in my butt has also gone down. However, Lynch looked increasingly embarrassed as he looked at this scene. Crane Vice Admiral's death stare is something not everyone can withstand. You old guys, get out first. He ordered, Garp and Zephyr left obediently, and Sengok went ahead to handle official business. Ever since, the only people left in the room were the peacock, Lynch, and the Crane Vice Admiral. Go on. Tell the truth, Grandma. The peacock still tried to struggle, but Lynch sighed, stood up, and told the story from beginning to end. Of course, it's been beautified inside. I definitely can't talk about robbing someone else's granddaughter of her black silk stockings. It also saved some face for Peacock, so that she did not dare to report him. After listening, Vice Admiral he was silent for a long time. It seems that with her rich experience, she has to digest and digest the content. After a while, Crane Vice Admiral opened his eyes. Lynch, you did a great job. R. Lynch who closed his eyes and waited for death, was surprised. Where did this compliment come from? Could it be a mockery? Grandma, what are you talking about? The peacock was also confused. Why did my grandma praise the murderer after she was beaten? But, Crane Vice Admiral changed the topic. Just because I praise you doesn't mean I forgive you. You have to admit that you were also wrong in this matter. Peacock is a kid who can never change his hobby, so I want to entrust the peacock to you. Chapter 43 Strong Medicine Perhaps a stubborn disease requires strong medicine. If you help cure Peacock's hobby, I will not only forgive you, but also give you a generous reward. The Peacock's trembling symptoms troubled the crane. From childhood to adulthood, after so many years, he originally thought that his granddaughter's symptoms were almost cured, but who knew? What happened this time made the crane understand. If he was not cruel, the life of the Peacock would be over. No man would dare to have such a shaky personality. Anyway, my granddaughter has already been spanked by Lynch, so the spanking is nothing. As long as this shivering can be cured. R. Granny he, are you right? I'm not a doctor, so how can I treat her? Besides, I can't fight again, can I? Lynch quickly declined. That's right. Grandma, how could you give me to this bad guy? Peacock also protested. You're right, if Peacock disobeys, you can just beat her until she is corrected. However, you are only allowed to spank your butt not other places. You can spank your butt as you please if it doesn't break. Lynch looked at the old man's attitude and seemed like he couldn't refuse. Grandma what are you talking about? Peacock blushed. Okay, it's decided. Don't you have half a month's vacation? From now on, I will send someone to take Peacock to your house every day until she gets rid of her bad habits. Granny he sealed the coffin and concluded. In this way, Lynch has an additional task of correcting bad girls every day. As for the Peacock, his little butt suffered. Arrive home. Lynch told what happened today and Momosagi defended him. How could sister he do this? No. I'm going to argue with her right now. Momosagi stood up from the sofa angrily. Forget it giant san Lynch held her hand. Let her do it. It's just a little girl. I can handle it easily. Okay, but if you can't stand it anymore, remember to tell me. It's not easy for you to have half a month's vacation. Momosagi complained. Okay, it's getting late. Let me go cook. Sister Hina should be back. Night. The three of them sat at the same table to eat and Lynch was surprised. How could these two people get along so harmoniously? He originally thought that he would have to adjust the relationship between the two, but who knew that they were getting along like real sisters? Hina can also understand that she was born into a noble family and her father had several wives, which influenced her from an early age. Giant San, he just can't figure it out. What are you thinking about? You fool, hurry up and eat. Momosagi picked up a large piece of meat and put it into Lynch's bowl. I understand. You want Hina to feed you. Hina scooped up the hot soup with a spoon and blew on it with her little mouth raised. Open your mouth. Ah. Lynch's face turned dark. Was he treating him like a child? I must make Hina look good tonight. It is worth mentioning that since that day in East Blue, Hina got into his bed. Since then, the two have often slept together. Usually Hina refuses on the surface, but in reality she is still too shy to resist. Zikwatilda. When it was time to sleep, Lynch took advantage of the darkness and quietly opened the door of Hina's room. No, Sister Jan is back tonight. 
You can sleep by yourself. The confused Lynch was pushed out by Hina in less than three seconds. Oh, little girl, don't regret it. Lynch was so depressed that he had to go back to his room, cover his head and fall asleep. Late at night, Lynch suddenly woke up and felt a plump body crawling onto his bed. He grinned and pinched the visitor's plump part. Xiaon is I. You better not be able to bear it any longer. Ah, the woman in the quilt was suddenly squeezed and screamed. No, that voice doesn't belong to Hina. Lynch withdrew his palm instantly, thinking of some possibility, and broke into a cold sweat. Lifting the quilt, Lynch was stunned. It's just dot 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 giant san. Mo Mousagi's face was red and he was holding a ball of snow. When Lynch looked at him, he rolled his eyes fiercely. Zhao said angrily, do you usually treat sister Hina like this? I'm sorry giant san. I didn't know it was you. Lynch's heart was beating like a drum at this time. If he had known it was Sister Giant who killed her, he wouldn't have dared to pinch her. SHH. Giant made a silencing gesture and placed his green fingers in front of Lynch's mouth. Don't talk, it's late at night, go to sleep. Giant blushed and leaned into Lynch's arms, closing her beautiful eyes. Lynch hugged this rapidly plump body, feeling hard, and his fist became hard. Tonight is destined to be another sleepless night. The next day, I slept so comfortably. Mo Mousaki yawned and woke up from bed with a sleeping look on his face. Sister Jian, if you wake up, can you please take off your leg first? It's going to be numb for me. At this time, a feeble voice sounded. Lynch admitted that although it was nice to be pressed by Sister Jian's long legs, but Sister Jian was too dishonest when sleeping, and he was overwhelmed by the lovemaking benefits she offered from time to time. PFFD you didn't sleep all night, did you? Looking at Lynch with a pair of dark circles under his eyes. Mo Mousagi smiled wildly. So beautiful. Lynch was stunned by the pair of bombs. It was dark yesterday and I didn't notice that Jian had taken off his makeup at this time. No purple eyeshadow, no other makeup. Completely without makeup. It just so happens that Jian San is so beautiful. Jian San, Jian San, are you out? Jian heard Hina's voice, looked at Lynch, quickly packed his clothes and walked out of the room. Just then Hina came out of Mo Mousagi's room. Seeing Mo Mousagi Hina walking out of Lynch's room, she was startled, and then said with concern. Sister Jian, your face is so red. Could it be that you are sick? No dot 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 it's okay. I'm going to wash my face. Watching Jian fleeing, Hina entered Lynch's room suspiciously. You shouldn't have done anything bad to Giant San secretly, right? I didn't do anything, Lynch said with a guilty conscience. Hearing this, Hina looked like she was angry and said, Oh, you idiot. Hina can tell that Sister Jian is interested in you. Why don't you take advantage of such a good opportunity? Lynch feels that the development of this plot is not quite right. How can any woman urge her boyfriend to find another woman? At the critical moment, Peacock came to his rescue. Okay, okay, I know Grandma, I will definitely be good. The Peacock nodded at the door. As a result, as soon as the door closed, he collapsed on the sofa in a sudden burst of happiness. Girl, you have a standing posture and sitting posture. How can you behave like this? Jian walked out of the bathroom with a frown. Exclamation mark. Jian San. The peacock stood up quickly as if there were springs under its butt. Why are you here? It can be seen that the peacock is a little afraid of Jian. Hina and I are good friends and we often stay here. But you, I heard you are sick again recently? Jian asked, pretending to be angry. Chapter 44 Buster Call. No, Sister Jian. You must have heard wrong. Peacock buried his head in his chest. I hope so. Mo Mousagi returned to the room wiping her wet hair. Peacock, you are here. Lynch looked at the girl on the sofa, lost in thought. Since I promised Grandma he that I am idle, why don't I try to correct it? Are you willing to give up your strange hobby now? Asked in line, the peacock's head suddenly shook like a rattle. Don't want. Lynch's face sank, he sat on the sofa, patted his legs and said, Lie over here, lie on my lap. What are you doing? Ouch. Peacock subconsciously took a step back looking panicked. Your grandma said that if you don't obey, you can let me teach you a lesson. Thinking of Crane Vice Admiral's words, Peacock shivered in fright and quickly changed his words. I'll change it, can't I change it? Stop fighting. I can finally walk. Can it really be changed? It can be changed. Peacock nodded his little head quickly. PFFT. Mo Mousagi, who was leaning on the door to watch the show, laughed and said, Lynch, don't listen to this girl. She is the best at lying. Let me help you. Giant San, seeing that his little idea was exposed. Peacock was panicked. All her little thoughts will be seen through in front of Jian. How are you going to help? Lynch asked curiously. It's very simple. Just let her sincerely admit that she has corrected herself. Jian opened his hand, and a ball of pink gas came out of his palm. I have eaten the Paramecia perfume fruit and can create various perfumes. This is truth perfume. If you don't have admiral level of willpower, you can only tell the truth. Giant San, Cow. Lynch praised that perfume fruits can still be developed in this way. No, Giant San. Seeing Jian approaching, Peacock felt a moment of despair. Later, Peacock was pinned to Lynch's lap like an errant child, and Giant released a cloud of pink gas that enveloped him. I'll ask you again, are you willing to give up your bad hobbies? I don't want to. As soon as these words came out, Peacock immediately covered his mouth. What happened? She clearly wanted to say yes, 
but her words changed as she spoke. HMPH, it seems like what Jian said. He's not good at all. Lynch looked unkind. After a while, the peacocks burst into tears and squatted in the corner with tears streaming down his face. Dot. In this way, Lynch's vacation passed day by day. Daily schedule, eat, sleep and shoot peacocks. The meal is for four people to eat together, because the peacock will go back at night. In the blink of an eye, twelve days passed. On this day, the peacock hummed a cheerful tune and jumped through the door. As soon as he entered the room, he obediently climbed onto Lynch's lap. I'm ready, he said impatiently. Lynch's mouth twitched. I haven't asked yet. What are you ready for? Big brother, please ask quickly. Peacock said nonchalantly. Lynch called Giant, and the pink gas controlled the peacock. I ask you, are you willing to give up your hobby? I do. Lynch and Giant nodded. It seemed that this girl had really changed. Looking at the peacock lying on his lap with an anxious expression and refusing to get up, Lynch had an idea and asked, what are you doing, brother? Please feel free to do as you please. Peacock's big eyes were filled with anticipation. It's over. Lynch slapped his forehead. This is like the Vice Admiral's explanation. I don't know if the treatment is successful or not. How should I explain it to Vice Admiral? Say congratulations. Your granddaughter's hobbies have changed. Gian also noticed something was wrong. Lynch, you can't hit peacocks anymore. I think so too. Lynch pushed the peacock away, and the peacock immediately jumped back. Big brother, Lynch, for the rest of the day. The peacock followed Lynch like a little follower. The peacock refused to leave until late at night. He had never seen such an outrageous request. What a pretty little girl. Why, Lynch Rear Admiral, Marshal Sengoku, please come over. A marine soldier hurried over. I understand, please go back. Yes, the unexpected situation may not be simple. Lynch first explained the reason to Giant Hina. Just as he was about to leave, another marine soldier ran over. Giant Rear Admiral. We have found you. Marshal Sengoku asks you to come. In the conference room. When Lynch and Giant arrived, there were already five vice admirals and seven or eight rear admirals gathered there. We also saw tea, dolphins and flying squirrels that we had not seen for a long time. For those who haven't arrived yet, please wait. Listen to me. Sengoku said solemnly. The world government ordered us to launch a buster call on Monopon Island. The crime, taking in Robin, the son of the devil, and trying to explore the legendary 100-year history. As soon as he finished speaking. Flying Squirrel immediately asked, There is a country living on Monopon Island. Is it too much to destroy a country just because it takes in the Devil's Son? The Flying Squirrel's words brought out the thoughts of many people. Before Sengoku could reply, another Vice Admiral with an unruly look scolded, Flying Squirrel, are you questioning the world government's orders? Rudolph is a Vice Admiral loyal to the world government and an alien marine. Gian also did not give Rudolph any face, and said coldly, The Flying Squirrel is asking the Marshal, not you. That's enough. Sengoku stopped everyone's quarrel. Ten warships have docked at the port. You geese should go there quickly. The Flying Squirrel is the supreme commander of this operation. The scale of Buster Call includes five vice admirals, ten rear admirals, tens of thousands of marine elites, and the top ten warships. Its power is enough to easily destroy a country. Lynch looked thoughtful. Marine has gone through the third generation. The evolutionary history of Marine from Kong to Sengoku and later Ake Ainu are as follows. The obedient dog of world government. The dog that is dissatisfied with world government. The dog that talks back to world government. Marine is, after all, just a dog of the world government. All military expenditures are provided by the world government. If you are even slightly dissatisfied with the deduction of funds, you will be forced to lay off employees next year. As long as the world government cuts off funding, Marine will die on its own in a short time. Marine is not a pirate, so it is impossible for him to commit acts of burning, killing and looting. Chapter 45 Quinn. The hearts are not united and some of them are people from the world government, and there are multiple factions. And without formal sources of military expenditure, it would be difficult to survive. As for wanting to start your own business, you are simply overthinking, and you think the world government is just free rice. Lynch also understood the difficulties of past marshals. If Marine wants to become completely independent, it will face three important conditions. 1. The issue of funding is also the biggest problem. 2. Eliminate dissidents. If Marine wants to be independent, it must eliminate some unscrupulous elements. By then, Marine will be conservatively weakened by one-third. 3. Face three dangers. Once Marine becomes independent, both the revolutionary pirates and the world government will become enemies. Forget it, I'm not even an admiral now, so why bother with this? What makes Lynch more gratified is that Sengoku is obviously on his side. Sending the flying squirrel as leader instead of Rudolph indirectly proves his dissatisfaction with the world government. Arriving on the warship, the atmosphere was terrifying and solemn. The army of tens of thousands of people actually made no sound. Truly worthy of being Marine's most elite unit. The flying squirrel silently let the warship set sail. Monopon Island is far away from the naval headquarters. We can only get there tomorrow during the night. It is estimated that the people on Monopon Island do not know that when they wake up, they will be greeted by death. At night, Giant found Lynch alone. 
The two of them fell into silence on the deck looking at the night sky. I once went to Monopon Island to catch pirates. The people there are very nice and the folk customs are simple. Jian said bitterly. Are you confused about justice in your heart? Lynch asked. Yes. Did you see it? Those people are obviously just unarmed civilians, but they face the risk of death just because they took in a little girl. Do you think it's ridiculous? Even if the murderer is to be found, the common people should not be involved. The common people are innocent. Jian said lonely. World government has done this not once or twice. You don't even think about the top executives of world government who are from celestial dragons. Lynch looked at it openly and gently hugged Jian's slender waist. We can't decide the path of our predecessors, but our path is at our feet. You and I are the rear admiral now. Who can imagine Marine's future in the future? If one day, you and I are Admiral or even Marshal, then you can try to turn your ideas into reality. In this world, strength is the basis for everything, and no one will pay attention to the thoughts of the weak. Can you understand what I say? Giant's beautiful eyes gradually brightened up, as if he had found his target, changing from his previous decadence. For our future, for the future of the people, come on. Giant extended his fist and bumped it with Lynch. Come on, Dot. The next day, Monopon Island, within the kingdom, the morning light had just broken, and thick fog drifted over the sea. Some hard-working farmers have even cultivated two acres of land. Look, is there something approaching on the sea? Residents fetching water squinted at the sea. Ten huge warships were like ten huge monsters, slowly approaching. Quick, go and inform the king that there is an invasion. Dot. The nation on Monopon Island has a small population of only about a million. There is no great fighting power. There are only a handful of people in the country who can hockey. Using Buster Call against such a low-level country is a complete one-sided massacre. Fire. Boom. 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 There is no need for anyone to land on the island. The most terrifying thing about Buster Call is its bombardment, which can be said to be full of firepower. At Flying Squirrel's order, 500 cannons launched a carpet bombing towards Monopon Island at the same time. Some Vice Admiral Rear Admirals who still have conscience turned their heads away and couldn't bear to look directly. Generals are prepared to deal with powerful opponents. In the current situation, there is no need for them to take action. Since Buster Call bombs areas based on areas, after the bombing, there will be no living souls on the entire island. It was precisely because of the orderly bombing that the people of the kingdom were given some time to escape. The old king swore to live and die with the kingdom and gave up the chance of life to others. All the civilians and officials boarded the five refuge boats and gradually moved away along the sea. The flying squirrel closed its eyes tightly, as if it didn't see the refuge ship and ignored it, letting it go away. Arsle, what are you doing? If you let those criminals go, can you bear the responsibility if something happens? I think you are harboring evil intentions. I will report this matter to the world government. Rudolf tried his best to avoid the communication phone bug in the flying squirrel's hand and gave the order. Attack. Aim the gun at the refuge ship. Boom. 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 After the ferocious bombardment, the refuge ships were left with a cloud of dust. The sea turned blood red. At this point, a country with a million people was all dead in less than an hour. This is the power of Buster Call. No wonder those countries are so afraid of Buster Call. The burning fire on Monopon Island was deeply imprinted in Lynch's eyes. The mission was completed, and just as the ten warships were about to turn around and go back, a hearty laugh came from a distance. Ha 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 ha, look what we met, Buster Call, what kind of trash is that? Ha 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 ha, Boss Quinn is right. A pirate ship that was as big as a Buster Call warship approached. There was a fat man standing on the bow of the boat with a gatling in his hand. Beasts pirates. Everyone in Marine was shocked when they saw the flag on the pirate ship. Why did you bump into them here? Quinn, one of the three disasters, is here. Don't they stay in the new world and come here to die? I'm laughing so hard. Now all the cats and dogs dare to touch Buster Call. Rudolf laughed. We have five vice admirals, ten rear admirals, and ten thousand elite soldiers here, not to mention a mere Quinn. So what if Kaido comes? Since I met you here. There is no need to treat you as going back. Several vice admirals also asked us to take action together to capture Quinn alive. He is the technical advisor in Beasts Pirates and knows all Kaido's secrets. After Rudolph finished speaking passionately, his face turned dark when he found that no one was paying attention to him. Go ahead, maybe we can use Quinn against the Beasts Pirates. It was the flying squirrel that spoke, and several vice admirals joined forces to use Moonwalk to rush towards Quinn's ship. I'll blanch it. You marines are five against one. How can you still get some face? When Quinn saw this, he cursed. Even he can't handle five vice admirals. T -t 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 Tilda. Before anyone could get close, Quinn lifted Gatlin and fired. Marine soldiers still use flintlock guns, and pirates have Gatling guns. Lynch didn't know what to say for a moment. The vice admirals easily dodged the bullets and landed on the pirate ship one by one. Chapter 46 Kaido Attacks The strength of vice admiral cannot be underestimated. Facing the densely packed pirates on the ship, only one person was able to defeat the pirates. Ah, Boss Quinn, help, sir. Oh, I still want to find someone to save me. Facing the siege of the four vice admirals, 
Quinn complained endlessly. He couldn't bear the beating even if he resisted it. The combat prowess under Admiral is not for nothing. Raw, in desperation, Quinn transformed into a Diplodocus more than 10 meters tall. Zone Ancient Species Diplodocus Fruit Ability User. In this way, with his huge size, Quinn wouldn't be too miserable. The Quinn at this time was not the Quinn ten years later, so he couldn't ignore Vice Admiral's attack. Ouch, be gentle. It hurts, it hurts, Lozies. Fie. Look, Lozie will kill you suddenly. Quinn opened the dragon's mouth and spit out a series of bullets and shells. A real ruthless person. Even his own body was not spared during the transformation. I can't bear it anymore. I can't bear it anymore. Boss Kaido, if you don't come out, I will be beaten to death. Quinn cried out for her father and mother in pain. It's one thing to not be beaten to death for a while. But it's another thing to feel pain. Ah la 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 Quinn, you idiot can't even fight a few flies. With a loud bang, Kaido made his debut. Kaido, who changed from dragon form to human form, stood on the deck and took out his mace. Thunder eight trigrams. Boom. Kaido suddenly rounded the mace and knocked a vice admiral into the bottom of the sea with one blow. Quinn, Lozi is here to save you. You 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 boss Kaido, you finally sobered up. Quinn hugged Kaido's thigh excitedly and cried bitterly. Go away. It's disgusting. Armor. Kaido. Rudolph's feet went weak, and his back was instantly wet with sweat. Without Admiral present, many people would have been killed by Kaido. Kaido, aren't you afraid that your hometown will be attacked by the other four emperors when you come to Grand Line in person? Flying Squirrel said coldly. Ah la la la, this is not the business of you losers. Having beaten my beloved men like this, have you thought about how you are going to die? Kaido struck down the mace hard and Rudolph's knife and the most of his face were shattered and flew out without any resistance. What a great kid. The people on the warship called the Marine Headquarters for help the moment they saw Kaido. But, the fastest Kizaru takes three hours to get here. It's hard to say whether Kizaru, who is physically exhausted, can beat Kaido. Get out of here. Let's hold off Kaido as much as possible. The flying squirrel issued orders to the warship through the phone bug, as if it was death. 10,000 elite Marines cannot die here. Facing the world king who knows conquerors, Buster Call is a joke. Ten warships acted according to the order and decisively abandoned their commanders and fled. The warship is huge and it is not easy to escape. I want to leave. Does Lozi allow it? Kaido opened his mouth and spit out a pillar of fire, piercing a warship through the center. A raging fire broke out on the warship. Kaido, your opponent is us. The remaining three vice admirals stood in front of Kaido with resolute expressions. Lynch, who was on the warship, watched the scene and started to move. He knew that if he didn't take action, he might be able to escape. But those three vice admirals, nine rear admirals, 10,000 marine elites, and most importantly, Giant San, will all die here. Lynch. Mo Mousagi looked worriedly at Lynch's leaving figure, feeling very panicked for some reason. Step Step Tilda. Lynch, who was stepping on Moonwalk, released the restrictions on his body caused by the candlelight fruit, and his height returned from 1.99 meters to 6 meters. Kaido's mace shattered the flying squirrel's weapon, and just as he was about to take away the flying squirrel's life, Lynch appeared. Lynch blocked the fatal blow for the flying squirrel. Lynch, who is six meters tall, stands in front of Kaido, who is seven meters tall, like two giants. Where did that kid come from? Interesting, interesting. Seeing that someone could block his attack, Kaido looked at the person with interest. Kaido, let them go. How about I be your opponent? Lynch stood in front of the flying squirrel like a wall. Kaido moved his nose and suddenly smelled a different smell. His eyes lit up. Are you a fantasy beast? Kaido, who has the dream of being a zoo director suddenly has a love for talents. Yes, let them go and I can stay, Lynch said. Ah ha 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 ha, that's great. Kaido laughed. Lozi can let them go and never pursue them, but you must also promise Lozi a question. Lozi won't kill you if you lose, but you have to join my beast's pirates. Kaido made a condition. Aren't you afraid that I am marine spy and will lead the wolf into the house? Lynch said. What does this mean? As long as Lozi truly trusts you, even if you are really a spy, you will eventually return home. Right? Kaido said carelessly. I have to say that Kaido does have a unique charm of a leader. Okay, I promise you, you're Lynch. Until then, Flying Squirrel vaguely remembered this junior brother who he had only met a few times. The main changes are too big, not just the height from 1.99 meters to 6 meters. His strength has also changed from a novice at the beginning to a level that can block Kaido. This is already more powerful than him. No, if you stay here, how will I explain to teacher Zephyr when I get back? Flying Squirrel refused. You have no right to speak here. Get out of here Lozi. Kaido was unhappy and hit the flying squirrel with a stick. Don't worry, Lozi didn't break his promise. He will be fine if I use skill. Thoughtful Kaido explains to Lynch. Lynch nodded. Two vice admirals, you'd better go on your own. Thank you very much, Lynch rear admiral. You are our marine hero. Lynch rear admiral, take care. The two vice admirals clasped their hands and left. Thump Tilda. The flying squirrel landed on the warship without missing a beat thinking of Lynch's efforts and clenching his fists. We cannot let the sacrifice of Lynch rear admiral go in vain. The whole army must retreat. 
He ordered the communication phone bug. What did you say? What's wrong with Lynch? Mo Mousagi came up anxiously and asked. Looking at the emotional giant, the flying squirrel seemed to understand something. With a look from him, a rear admiral knocked giant out from behind. Take her to have a good rest and make sure she doesn't get too excited when she wakes up. Kizaru admiral is already on the way and can definitely save Lynch. If Mo Mousagi rear admiral is to blame, blame me. Two vice admirals dragged Rudolph and another vice admiral whose life and death were unknown back to the warship. The warship slowly turned around and disappeared on the sea. Kaido crushed them just like they crushed Monopon Island. Boy, everyone is gone. Don't worry now. After the warship completely disappeared from sight, Kaido spoke out. Chapter 47 The Ghostly World Come on Kaidos, show me the power of the strongest creature on land, sea and air. No need to cover the vice admirals. Lynch shrunk back two meters. Otherwise, the two knives Long Yuan and Xindu are just like toys in the hand. Hey, is this also your devil fruit's ability? Thundrate trigrams. Kaido, who was amiable just a moment ago, suddenly burst into flames and struck with a stick mixed with lightning. Boom. Lynch held up two long knives and stood in front of the maze, causing a burst of sparks. Ha ha ha, good blocking. Kaido was in a happy mood. Quinn, please watch out. This is a man's romance. You can learn from it. Quinn's fleshy face flattened and he thought to himself, Boss Kaido, do you think anyone can compete with you in strength? It's not like you don't know how powerful you are. I don't know how long it took, but Kaido didn't meet anyone who could accept his meeting gift. Seeing that the hunter was happy, he held the mace in both hands and waved the cross to pursue and attack. Greed, delusion, anger and destruction of the army. What a strength. Kaido's strength is something Lynch has only seen in his life. But Kizaru is beyond the reach of a horse. Kaido, whose arms were bulging with veins exerted force on both arms at the same time. Lynch could no longer hold on and was knocked out. PFFT. Powerful power came along the weapon. Lynch spurted out a mouthful of blood, and was healed in an instant. He stepped on Moonwalk and wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth in midair, looking solemnly at Kaido's figure below. For Emperor's Kaido, well deserved. Kid, are you too scared to come down after being beaten? Do you want Lozi to come up and find you? Kaido provocatively raised the mace. It's not polite to come back without reciprocating. I have received your greeting gift. Next. Try my greeting gift. Buzz. The two long knives, Long Yuan and Xindu, turned black at a speed visible to the naked eye. Wrapped in thick armed colors, two long swords were stacked in front of him, and Lynch's body ignited with blue red flames. Behind him, several evil ghosts appeared. In their hands, they also held the illusory Long Yuan and Xindu. Reincarnation and death, all things rotate. Shura has feelings. I will live a century and feel the infinite Brahman light. Yamaluo is not my will. I am the mortal world. Every time Lynch uttered a word, the ghost energy on the sword became stronger. After the words fell, the black dragon on the handle of the dragon slaying knife seemed to come to life, and its eyes lit up red. Jai eg eg eg. The cold and unruly laughter coming from Xindu Dao made people shudder. The evil spirits behind him and Lynch raised their swords at the same time. Ghost energy, the way of the world. Lynch's knife fell, and the air seemed to be frozen. The pirates on the boat were frozen in place as if they had fallen into an ice cave, unable to move. If you move, you will die. The more powerful a person is, the more powerful he can feel Lynch at this moment. Help, kill the dragon. Boss Kaido, help. Quinn ran around with thick legs and hid behind Kaido. Boom. Thousands of meters of sword energy fell, and even the sea was cut into an abyss-like opening. The strong wind howled, seeming to kill all enemies that stood in its way. Quinn, hold on Lozi. Kaido couldn't stop laughing and transformed into his dragon form, grabbing Quinn and flying up into the air. This was on the sea, and he didn't want to be knocked into the sea. Boom. Kaido grabbed Quinn and survived, but the sword was too fast and Kaido's huge dragon form was inevitably affected. A large amount of blood was sprayed from the sky as if it were free of money. Boss Kaido, you are injured. Quinn was shocked. He couldn't remember how long it had been since he saw Boss Kaido injured. Shut up, this little injury is nothing. Sure enough, within a few seconds, the wound on Kaido's tail had healed. This is the horror from the top zone fantasy beast species. In order to take down the Red Earl, Marine fought continuously for a month before taking down the opponent. If the opponent is a fantasy beast species, this time can be extended at least several times. No one could do this without eating, drinking or sleeping for several months, and fighting non-stop, except for the phantom beast species. Ah, 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 ah. Help, Kaido's armor. Boom. However, the pirates on the pirate ship were not so lucky. Both the boat and the people were shattered by the bright sword light at the same time. Thousands of elite pirates were all killed by this move. Not even the weapons they carried were left behind. Everything was annihilated and turned into black ashes. Ghost energy, Lynch's latest power. It can be superimposed with weapon colors and sword skills to unleash incredible power. After trying it for the first time, he was satisfied with its current power. Damn you brats, Lozi's men. Kaido shouted in anger. If you don't want to die, come with me. Otherwise I'll catch up and kill those marines right now. Kaido dropped the threat, ignored Lynch, 
grab Quinn and flew away. Being disloyal to your word will undermine the majesty of your four emperors. What nonsense are you talking about? Lozi is a pirate. Come up with me. The black line at Lynch's end had no choice but to follow for the safety of Sister Giant and 10,000 Marines. Kaido and Lynch landed on a small island as a battlefield. This time, Quinn learned a lesson and knew that mortals suffer disaster when gods fight. He hid far away and watched secretly with a telescope. Thinking of his fallen men, Kaido was depressed and pulled out the drinking utensil from his waist to drink. Gulu Gulu Tilda. Pirates are easy to find, and ships that big are indeed rare for pirates. You 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 Lozi's men, after a few sips of strong wine. Kaido started crying without any warning, and his big tears fell to the ground. Looks a little pitiful. There are more black lines on Lynch's forehead. What is Kaido doing? Even if the four emperors are sad, they won't cry, right? From a distance, Quinn stamped his foot. It's over, boss Kaido is going to get drunk again. Quinn knows that when he is in a good mood, Kaido can drink a thousand cups without getting drunk. When you are in a bad mood, one cup of Kaido is just as much as you need. Kaido who drinks too much is the scariest thing. If you get too ruthless and even kill yourself, you think that's not scary. Refers to committing suicide by jumping down from Sky Island. Lozi is going to kill you. Kaido transforms into his human form and becomes a lot taller. Not only that, his strength, speed and physical fitness are also skyrocketing. Thundrate trigrams. A mace smashed Lynch deep into the ground. Kid, are you dead? Kaido stood at the entrance of the cave and shouted. I won't die even if you die. Lynch who also transformed into a half-animal form, grew to seven meters tall and jumped out of the pit. However, in this case, although his physical fitness can compete with Kaido, the two long swords cannot be used. Fortunately, Lynch controlled the electromagnetic force and captured the iron sand from the depths of the island. Kneading and kneading it together, it turned into a low-quality mace that was somewhat similar in appearance to Kaido's mace. Although it is inferior and looks a bit ugly, the quality goes without saying. Lynch tempered it with lightning and its hardness was comparable to fine steel. Chapter 48 Teacher Guy's Thundrate Trigrams Quinn subconsciously rubbed his eyes, his small mung bin eyes looking at the battlefield in confusion. Why are the two Kaido bosses? No, there is a marine named Lynch. What kind of phantom beast is he? He looks too much like boss Kaido's blue dragon fruit. Lynch and Kaido have the same firstborn dragon horns and are equally strong. There are also dragon scale patterns on the body. The difference is that Lynch has some barbs on his knees and elbows, and a black halo is always suspended behind him. Thundrate trigrams, thundrate trigrams. Two maces wrapped with electric light collided together, making a deafening sound. The island trembled violently, the roots of the coconut trees on the island were uprooted, and ravines appeared on the ground. So strong, Quinn held on to the big rock to barely keep from being blown away by the strong wind. Damn it, two four emperors are fighting, right? Exclamation mark. You kid, how dare you learn Lozi's tricks? Kaido opened his mouth wide, revealing sharp and terrifying teeth. What are your tricks? Once I learn them, they are mine. Good kid. Try this trick of mine. Teacher Kaido is very unhappy about someone forcing him to learn without paying the copyright fee. Jiang San Shia Yin Nei Ai Luo. Boom. Kaido hit his head with a stick, and a terrifying shockwave spread around. The overflowing lightning cracked the earth. Thunder dot 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 forget it. Frozen hell. This move is obviously an advanced version of Thunder 8 trigrams, and it cannot be blocked even with Thunder 8 trigrams. Lynch exhaled a breath of cold air and the sky and the earth were frozen. The frost spread upward from the soles of Kaido's feet. Kaido paused in his swing, and Lynch retreated to avoid the fatal blow. It's Okiji's ability. Kaido pulled his foot out of the ice and said in wonder, from the beginning of the water now, you have used three attributes, ice, fire, and thunder. Which phantom beast species are you eating? We'll talk about it after we win. Okay, Jun to Long Sheng Jun. Kaido didn't know what kind of method he used. The mace suddenly became hundreds of meters in size, carrying a terrifying shockwave. One blow almost caused Lynch to vomit blood. He jumped towards the sky with moonwalk. I originally wanted to secretly learn Kaido's Jiang San Shia middle dot Yinoku, but I didn't know that Kaido had mastered it and used it once. Ghost Chi middle dot Thundrate trigrams, the iron rod ignited with ghost energy, and Lynch hit Kaido's head from above with great force. Although the swordsmanship is no longer usable, the ghost energy combined with Kaido's thundering eight trigrams is enough to unleash terrifying power. Ah la la la, great weed thunder 8 trigrams. Kaido poured wine into his mouth while using an advanced version of thunder 8 trigrams. Boom. At the moment of the collision, Lynch used electromagnetic force to cause the iron rod to shatter. He was also hit in the head by Kaido and his eyes turned white and he lost consciousness. Five or six seconds later, Lynch's body shook, he suddenly woke up, and jumped up from the ground. Did I just get knocked unconscious? You didn't do anything when I was unconscious. Lynch looked at Kaido who was drinking heavily in surprise. TCH. Lozi never engages in sneak attacks. Kaido said disdainfully. Kaido is surprisingly good at martial ethics. Lynch thought. At present. He is no match for Kaido in both human and half-beast forms. In the end, 
I could only try the beast form, roar, with a roar, Lynch's size increased dramatically. In the blink of an eye, a 35 meter tall candle appeared on the scene. So big, Quinn was shocked, his Brachiosaurus form looked like his son in front of this giant beast. Roar, Kaido looked hot and liked it even more. He vowed to bring this exotic beast into the beast's pirates. Kaido transforms into dragon form and fights with Lynch. Roar, Lynch opened his mouth and spit out a lightning beam of more than 10 meters. Hot breath, an almost identical flame beam erupted from Kaido's mouth. Two light beams collided in midair. The sky is cracked. Watching the battle between the two giant beasts in the sky. Quinn's little heart was beating fast. You can't afford to offend. Bartang middle dot Sira flower middle dot great wide middle dot thunder eight trigrams. In midair, Kaido suddenly changed from dragon form to half dragon, and hit Zazao's huge head with a mace. Boom. Lynch crashed into the island like a meteor, spitting out a large mouthful of blood, and was knocked back to his human form and passed out. Boom tilde. Lynch's fall was like a nuclear bomb exploding on the island. The already overwhelmed island happily exploded, disappeared from the map, and sank into the sea. Boss Kaido, help me. Gulilu. Quinn was accidentally injured and blown into the distant sea by the explosion. With Quinn's tonnage, it won't be long before it sinks to the bottom of the sea at a depth of tens of thousands of meters. Kaido's eyes in the sky turned back and forth between Lynch and Quinn, and finally chose Quinn. Fly over and rescue Quinn. Sorry boss. Quinn sat on Kaido King Long's back and lowered his head in self-reproach. He knew that it was because of him that Kaido boss failed to catch Lynch. I hope that kid is not dead. Kaido shook his head regretfully. He had used all his strength in his last attack just now including Conqueror's entanglement. The chances of Lynch surviving were slim. Unless Lynch has fish human blood, the ability user will die if he falls into the sea. Kaido looked at the calm sea and drove Quinn back to Peresedly. Big loss this time. Not only did they lose tens of thousands of pirates, but they also lost a fantasy beast species. Dot. Deep under the sea, Lynch's internal organs were shattered by Kaido's blow. Seawater poured into his chest and blood floated from his mouth, attracting a large number of sea kings. Soon, even if Lynch is not seriously injured and dies, he will be drowned and eaten by the Sea Kings. Suddenly this time, the black-red halo behind him that had never moved unexpectedly appeared on its own initiative. Lynch has never understood the function of halo. The halo slowly formed a circle with no dead ends, isolating the surrounding seawater, and gradually carried Lynch to the surface of the sea. Whenever a Sea Kings approaches, it will turn into a grilled fish in the next second. Dot. The sun rises and sets. I don't know how much time has passed. Lynch opened his eyes with force, having never felt so weak. The energy in his body was drained and he hadn't eaten for a long time, which caused Lynch's injuries to never heal while he was in a coma. Now when I move, it feels like heartbreaking pain. He pursed his dry lips and looked around. This is a beach full of coconut trees. Oh. Who tied me to a coconut tree? Lynch finally realized something was wrong. No wonder he had a standing perspective as soon as he woke up. The person who tied me up was very kind. He didn't forget to put some pants on for me. As a result of the 35 meter high candlelight. Lynch's clothes were completely torn. I don't know who made the banana leaf skirt I'm wearing now. Pretty handy. Unfortunately, Lynch didn't even have the strength to raise his hand, let alone break the rope. Chapter 49 Lonely Yeah, you're awake. A girl with black hair came over holding two coconuts. When Lynch woke up, she stopped asking for coconuts and trotted over. This is the first time I've seen someone like you. He's been in a coma for a month without eating and is still alive. If you weren't still breathing, I would have thought you were dead. Even if she is on an isolated island. She cannot hide the girl's beautiful face. Wait, what did you say? I was in a coma for a month. What day is today? The girl thought for a while, if I remember correctly, it should be mid-August. Mid-August. Lynch calculated that it was only June when he went to sea. Doesn't it mean that he drifted at sea for a full month and a half, and was unconscious on land for another month? How did he survive? Lynch felt incredible for himself. Drink some water first. Your mouth is very dry. The girl thought Lynch was remembering something sad. So she cracked a coconut and brought it to Lynch's mouth. Thanks. Lynch took a swig, and the coconut juice flowed from his mouth into his stomach. It tastes good. Can I have some more? He said, still wanting to know. Okay, there are a lot of coconuts on this isolated island. As she spoke, the girl opened a few more coconuts for Lynch. The water is replenished, the whole person is warmed up, and the body is slowly recovering. I'm saved. Thank you so much. Haven't you asked me for advice yet? Roti, please call me Roti. The girl said. Lynch nodded. My name is Lynch. I heard you said this is an isolated island. How did you get here? Rody pointed to a small pile of broken wooden boards on the rocks on the shore and said, Of course it was a shipwreck. My ship is gone. Okay, Miss Shipwrecked, let me ask one last question. Why are you tying me up? Because, while you O.T. was talking, suddenly a five meter tall tiger walked out of the forest. Rody used his hands and feet to climb to the top of the coconut tree with a whoosh. Blue and white striped ones. Lynch muttered raising his head. The tiger walked slowly and deftly to Lynch. It was obviously not the first time he had done this. It opened its mouth suddenly, bit Lynch's leg, 
and began to grind its teeth. FKU, Lozy is not a teething stick. Lynch kicked him. Woo -oo -oo. The tiger's teeth were shattered on the ground and he left with his tail between his legs. Later, lions, wild boars, leopards and other beasts emerged from the forest. They can't bite Lynch, so they simply use it to grind their teeth and taste the meat. It turns out you were afraid that I would be picked up by a wild beast. Thank you. Lynch used both arms to break free from the restraints and punched a wild boar in front of him to death. Seeing how brave he was, the beasts swarmed and dispersed. Come down and eat some meat. Don't be in a daze. Lynch greeted the girl at the top of the tree. Oh. The girl slid down the tree trunk and praised. You are so powerful. A six to seven meter long wild boar was killed by you with one punch. It doesn't matter, I've beaten bigger ones. Don't be idle, come over and help us. Let's have barbecue. Barbecue. The girl was shocked. On a deserted island in the wild, a man and a woman alone worked together. An hour later, the two finally had delicious roast pork. The girl ate very elegantly, but not slowly. Pieces of wild boar meat disappeared in her hands, and her mouth was filled with oil. Woo -oo -oo delicious. To be honest, I have been eating coconuts for a month, and now I feel like throwing up when I see them. The girl was so delicious that she almost cried. Eat more, you're welcome. Yeah, you are such a good person. The girl nodded vigorously. Lynch ate heartily. His energy was replenished and his injuries recovered at a speed visible to the naked eye. The girl opened her mouth wide, okay, that's awesome. Ha ha, I'm zoned demon fruit power, it's normal. Devil fruit. The girl seemed to have heard of it before and did not ask further. Lynch looked at the leaf skirt on his lower body and suddenly said, you put this skirt on for me, I'm sorry. Stupid. Stupid, don't say this. The girl was shy. Being reminded by Lynch, the ugly things that had been forgotten in my mind came back to mind. Have you never thought about leaving in the past month? Lynch asked. I've thought about it, but it's so remote here. There isn't even a passing ship in a month. What's more, what will you do if I leave? The girl suddenly choked and hit her plump chest hard with her small fists, causing waves to rise and fall. Lynch looked away. How about I take you away? Stop bragging. I admit that you are powerful, but you don't know how to build a ship. The girl didn't believe it. Why use a boat? I can fly. You wait until I finish eating. A seven meter long wild boar completely entered Lynch's stomach and he recovered from his injuries. Come, lie on my back and take you away. The girl looked at Lynch with her big watery eyes, as if to say, are you serious? What are you thinking about? Come on. The girl hesitated for a moment, then slowly lay on Lynch's back. So soft. Lynch felt like there was a ball of warm jade on his back and there were two large balls squeezing on his back. The girl blushed and put her hands in front of her chest. Hold me tight with your hands, or I won't care if you fall down. Okay dot 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 okay. The girl took her hand away from her chest again. Suddenly, a halo of black burning flames appeared behind Lynch. He carried Rody on his back and floated as if defying gravity. This is when Lynch woke up and found that there seemed to be something different about the halo. That's flying. Wow, you can really fly, so awesome. Roddy looked at the ground farther and further away in surprise and suddenly became a little scared. He hugged Lynch tightly and did not dare to let go. So big and so soft, Lynch secretly said. Didn't notice it, the girl kept it hidden. Two days later, on the vast sea, Lynch took the girl and met a small town. Looks like we got lucky. Lynch put his back on the girl. Without a directional compass, it would be extremely difficult to find people in the vast ocean. If you are unlucky, you may not see one for several months. Well, you've worked hard these past few days. Perhaps it was because of sleeping on Lynch's back for two days that the girl felt protected for the first time in her life. His attitude toward Lynch is much closer than before. In order not to scare the town residents, the two landed in the distance and walked into the town. Fortunately, there are spare clothes in the storage ring, so I won't run naked. Okay Roddy, I'll help you get to a safe place. We're even. Roddy grabbed Lynch's hand uneasily. Are you going to leave me too? Question mark. Lynch looked at this beautiful girl and wondered if he was being taken advantage of. Girls know very well that if they want not to be abandoned, they must show their useful value. She suddenly seemed to have made up her mind and dragged Lynch in one direction, follow me. Chapter 50 West Blue Kingdom Hotel Lynch was pulled onto the bed by the girl. Listen to me, there is no need to do this. It is very dangerous to follow me. It is best for you to be alone. The girl bit her lower lip, put her hands on her chest, and stepped closer to Lynch. Hundred flowers. The girl intertwined her hands and white palms popped out from all over the room. I am also demon fruit power and I will not drag you down, so don't leave me behind. Lynch was completely confused when he saw devil fruit's ability. Isn't this Robin's ability? Roddy dot 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 Robin. It turns out that the girl in front of me is Robin. As long as I can stay, I'll do anything. Robin said again. Okay, you can stay. Let me tell you first, it's very dangerous around me. Robin can read ancient texts, which Lynch needs very much. It's okay, I'm not afraid of danger. When he heard that he could stay, Robin smiled like a flower. That night, Lynch and Robin had a good rest in the hotel. The next morning, Lynch got up early. Unexpectedly, 
Robin got up even earlier than him, bought a table of delicious breakfast. Actually, it's not bad if Robin is used as a secretary. Lynch ate his breakfast while thinking about what was coming next. After not seeing anyone for two and a half months, Maureen must have thought he was missing. Since almost three months have passed, there is no rush for these days. During this time, you must quickly complete the task of becoming a king. Seeing that the three-year period is approaching, if it is not completed, it will be considered a failure. The other half of the world transfer scroll has been sent to West Blue by the bounty hunter. Everything is ready, just waiting for money. The next task is to make money and buy a kingdom. I'm going to go out for something later. You just stay at home and don't wander around. Okay, I understand. Robin put away the dishes and gave Lynch a sweet smile. After arriving in town, Lynch first wrote a letter to tell Hina and Sister Jane that he was fine. After thinking for a while, he wrote another letter to Smoker. I have asked him to look for Bayji for more than a year, but I don't know if he has found it yet. If the whereabouts or Smoker are found, it is the same as playing Lodia. Then he asked his boss for a newspaper from two and a half months ago. It stands to reason that if he sacrifices himself to save others, Marine will definitely publicize it to show Marine's justice. As expected, Lynch found his name on the front page of one of several newspapers. Lynch Rear Admiral fights Kaido alone and covers the soldiers to leave. With a title like this, the story needs to be so moving and the moving that it can make people cry. Lynch looked confused. Why didn't he know that he was stabbed twice in order to save the soldiers? Sengoku, this old boy, is dishonest. I criticized Sengoku's dishonest behavior from the bottom of my heart. At the end of the newspaper, it was written, Lynch rear admiral was killed in action, suspected. In recognition of his military exploits, he was posthumously named vice admiral. Finally there is good news, I have been promoted. In the new world, as long as you have the skills, there are business opportunities everywhere. Yi Rong accepted several bounty missions from Marine, and Lynch began hunting. In half a month, he killed more than 10 big pirates, thus raising 2.8 billion billy. I'm going to West Blue, would you like to come? On this day, Lynch and Robin explained the function of the World Transfer Scroll, and Robin was extremely surprised. It's amazing, there is such a thing. Of course I do, don't even think about leaving me. Okay. Grab my hand. Lynch had converted the 2.8 billion billy into bank notes and placed them in a suitcase. After paying attention to the mark, he grabbed Robin's hand and used teleportation. The two of them suddenly felt dizzy. When I came to my senses, I was already in West Blue. Lynch picked up the other half of the scroll and placed it carefully. Going from Grand Line to West Blue in an instant it was a huge shock to Robin. Let me see. We are now in the Kingdom of Bank. Lynch took out the scroll he had prepared in advance to identify the location. The bounty hunter kept his word and delivered it to the place. Come on, let's find out where the palace is first. Lynch chose the Bank Kingdom because the country here is not yet living in dire straits. The reason why the king was eager to sell the kingdom was because he was too arrogant and unsuitable to manage the kingdom. The more important thing is that he, the king, is really aggrieved. There is a town called Sin Paradise in the kingdom, which is full of villains. Every now and then the king would be threatened with death letters and extorted money. The young king's mentality collapsed. The previous old king tried to send troops to destroy the sin paradise, but the old king died. In this way, the young king wanted to throw away the problem and run away. However, these problems are not a problem for Lynch. What a perfect start. After investigating the address of the kingdom, Lynch took Robin and lurked in late at night. Robin easily dealt with several three-legged cat guards. The sleeping king opened his eyes and saw a knife on his neck. He was so frightened that he peed. No, you guys have something to say. How much do you want? Don't kill me. The gold bar is under my pillow. You can take it away. You can come over and get it next time, leaving me alive. Lynch and Robin looked at each other and almost laughed. This level of proficiency is often robbed. It is indeed the most chaotic West Blue, and the scenery is different. Keep your heart in your stomach. Lynch patted the king on the head with the back of his knife. I use the knife just to create a nice environment for our next conversation. M. Tell me what you have to say. It was the first time for the king to encounter such a civilized bandit and he was still a little unaccustomed to it. Okay, then I'll just tell you. I heard that you want to sell the king's position. How much is the price? When he heard that he was here to buy the throne, the king immediately changed his face. Two dot 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 ah no, ten billion, at least ten billion. The king gritted his teeth and revealed a big sale price. His kingdom was worth more than that, but he worked hard to get out of hell as soon as possible. Lynch was too lazy to talk nonsense and thrust Long Yuan into the ground. I won't bargain with you anymore. You know why you want to sell the kingdom. Looking across the entire West Blue, no one but me dares to take over your kingdom. One price, two billion baileys. With this money, you can live your whole life as a rich man. This, the king hesitated. On the one hand, the money given by Lynch was too low. On the other hand, I felt that the other party was right and I was afraid that I would be trapped here forever. Seeing that the king was shaken, Lynch added fuel to the fire. Looking at how pitiful you are, I'll give you 2.5 billion billy. Okay, deal. The young king was afraid that Lynch would regret it, 
so he quickly grabbed his hand. There are not many such big grievances left. He never wanted to see the gang of criminals in Sin Paradise again. Robin looked at Lynch with admiration. She knew that Lynch's strength was almost like picking up a kingdom for nothing. 